<laughs> Never offended, fucking nigga. again, dog. Gang, gang, nigga. That's the airport prices for the uh, turkey club. <laughs> No, 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 I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, Parks is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, Savon is here. Uh, I want to apologize for my fucking trash-ass voice. Still under the weather from tour. Mm. I don't hear myself. I don't smell anything. I put <laughs> cologne on. It's to no avail. I don't know what's going on. Uh, what else is going on? I want to shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership. I want to shout out to all the people that we met and connected with on tour. That was a lot of fun. Round of applause for you guys. Uh, I want to shout out to, what's my man name that said I look terrible? Harold. Ed, Ed, Ed. Ed, Harold. Where's the Harold from? Ed was at yeah, you. Yeah, my guy Ed. He was at you. Shout there out to was. Ed, man. Ed, you were right. I look terrible. <laughs> we met a lot of good people on the road, had a really good time out there. But when you're out there for that long, away from home, exchanging germs with strangers, <laughs> you're bound to come back and get sick. Climate changes, all types of shit. And I haven't quite recovered just yet. And wow, man. How y'all feel? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to Oh, man, yo, that's how you know I'm going through a breakup. All of y'all look greater than you've ever looked. <laughs> like, well, I just slept for 40 why, hours Park, straight. Park, so. Park's tea is like blacker than normal. It's jet black. Nigga, skin is looking yeah. good. Yeah. Collar so, looks great. Yeah, some, new, some new hairstyle up there. Yeah. A new is moose. She's trying a new moose. It's <laughs> not. What hairstyle is that Park's got up there? Uh, the the, the white boy. Yeah, white boy. <laughs> happy yeah, happy the, I just hour. got out of bed, but I styled it. Yeah, that's the happy hour fade. That's the white boy happy hour. <laughs> How y'all feeling, man? What's going on? I'm good, man. Everything's Feel good. Feel pretty good. Got yeah. some rest. Yeah, got some rest. Thank little, you for everyone on tour. That was great. Yeah, you man. guys were awesome. Shout yeah. out to all I'm the still shocked at all that shit that happened. Yeah, man. It's just, it's still crazy. People have been hitting me up asking me how it was and how we felt. I tell them, I'm fine. It's just hitting me. You know, now that we got a chance to settle <laughs> yeah, off with Wait, me. wait. Time out. Time out. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That's the line that niggas that been Hollywood say when they try to not come off Hollywood. Yo, it's just hitting me. Oh, <laughs> no, not for real though. Yo, I'm just realizing the impact. Yo, after I Shut type, remember we, we didn't have a day to off. No, no, no. So we didn't have time to really like to realize, sit and think. Yeah, hell there no. There was no we reflecting every time. Every night it was a different city. <laughs> though I did kind of feel like that when I put up that Instagram post of saying how humbled I was for the love. I hit send. I was like, that was the most industry Hollywood shit I think I've ever typed <laughs> in my life. When you're humbled by all the love, yeah. you're probably full of shit. Nah. <laughs> it was sincere. True. I felt like I felt like you were sincere. No, I was, but when I really looked at it and read it out loud to myself, yeah, I niggas was like, "Don't be humble." No. <laughs> like, <laughs> anytime we got to tell you that we're humble, it's like, yeah, recognize that I'm the shit. <laughs> so look at those theaters. <laughs> uh, what else did y'all do since y'all uh, returned? Slept. Dog slept. Worst. Slept. Was that it? That. It- for everybody, just Slept. catch up on sleep. Slept. I worked. Me and the Kush. Me and the Kush. Me and the Kush. See, that answers my question. How's he doing it over there? Yeah, man. It's me and the Kush. You just got to buy some Kush. That's it. Just <laughs> relax. That's it. Why, well, thank you, Rory. Kush yeah, and Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> And that, the home entertainment system yeah, You don't have lights. one of those You gotta get the lights Like the blue lights You, you Maul, just have regular lights right Maul ain't even hit me To try to hang Get a little Hang out night I told you I just in. gave you Days to sulk I just told you that <laughs> I know what you yeah. going through <laughs> Nigga I gave you days right, so But you're not gonna Come in here talking about Oh guys No 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 no, no. We, not, we ain't so doing where that y'all at? Up and For down the- Tuesdays What's going on <laughs> Damn, nah. no, Stop it might, 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 might have to take Joe To his favorite spot Man you know yeah, he might need that. Yeah, he needs. He need to go to his favorite spot. What's my favorite spot? You know what the fa- you know spot. your favorite yeah. spot. We can't tell the streets. We can't tell the streets what your favorite spot is, but you know what your favorite spot is. Damn, that's how I know I'm fucked up inside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. Like, What's my favorite spot? <laughs> <laughs> All the things I used to love, <laughs> I no longer can remember. I just feel so empty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what do y'all want to talk about? Uh, Maul, how, how was the Met Gala? Met Mala? Oh yeah, up? what'd you wear? <laughs> Excuse me? How, how was it? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I've never been the to the Met Gala. Gala. Okay. You didn't pull up? Nah. Why not? I couldn't get he in. He wouldn't tell us if I couldn't get in with what I was wearing. Uh, they, they, took, they held you at the door? Yeah, they held me at the door. <laughs> they said no Tim's? Yeah. They didn't like the <laughs> Rockefeller throwback spring jacket? Nah. <laughs> with the S dots? Nah, they was like, yo, uh, yeah, we not doing that. 
You thought you thought the uh, theme was Camp Low? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought They said camp I was like oh that's easy <laughs> Nothing but camp gear In the closet <laughs> you know Doing the mean? car heart it was like yeah. oh this blends Into the yeah. wilderness Yeah army jacket You know what I'm saying like, Something's really wrong with y'all <laughs> It was like nah fam She thought the theme Was camp low Small <laughs> <laughs> dude I, dressed like He think it was camp low The theme That's what I thought I mean hey Do we know anything About the Met Gala I always get jealous That the Met Gala Pops around And it's like wow All this shit for women To talk about And women to care about But How, how long has this podcast Been on now Five, oh, wow. six years? No, it has not. We're not five, that long standing. <laughs> Definitely somewhere in five years. I feel for we the past five years. We have not been on for five years. <laughs> 2014, 2019. We have not been on since 2014. Yes, we have. For real? Check that. Or Hold 20, on, I'm about or to pop early, my shit, man. Fuck this breakup. Or early 2014. <laughs> or really early 2015. Who cares? Anyways, we've come on this podcast every year. And have asked. I hope that we don't even know our own no, facts. When we started. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when we start this shit. <laughs> We've come on here every year and have asked, what is the Met Gala for three, four years now? And no one has been able to answer. Well, no, no, I know it is. It's a fundraiser for... <laughs> for rich people? For the <laughs> museum, for a portion of the museum. Oh. Because oh. they're really in need of that $15 million. Right. Yeah. They need it. I don't know what happens when you go inside... I don't know how you get an invite. I'm not that rich. It's an eyes wide shut party. Yeah, they be getting freaky. Everybody's fucking everybody in they there. They got the masks on. It's nasty. Uh, but why it's should, Molly at the door. But why should men care about this? And I do believe that they're doing Molly at the door, but uh, <laughs> why, should, why should men care about this? Like, y'all don't notice because that. Because we're fashion forward now. Come on, man. Because y'all, men only care wherever the women are, men care. Men want to be there. So if there's a lot of women in the building, men want to know what's going on in that building. But aren't the women there with like their partners? Uh, some, some, some not. I've seen a couple singles. So, some out. in there are renting a date. Yeah. You're in the single section? Oh, always. Y'all just don't just notice that women get a lot of shit to care about <laughs> during the year. You said women have a lot to what care about? During the year. Yeah. What do we have outside of March Madness? That's it. The finals? Super Bowl. Super nah, the, Bowl. Girl, the girls kind of took Super Bowl from us from the commercials and That's the parties true. and shit. Uh, That's true. They talked through the whole thing. Yeah, we don't really have much left. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They yeah, they took the Super Bowl from us. Oh, baby, what's Pepsi doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's even talking like her. <laughs> oh my god But what is it though <laughs> Nigga, I don't know But if that <laughs> Joe tried to answer it too it Didn't mm. work It's All been right. going on for years I'm not playing with y'all Back to the Met Gala Do y'all have any uh, uh, Cognitive thoughts <laughs> Uh, cognitive. We, we, we go over this I'm still every not, year. Still we go over this sure. every year. We, we never have this any thoughts on it. Still not quite sure. No, nah, that's not true. Is. Last year we did like a ninety minute breakdown for no reason, and all our fans were mad. <laughs> they hated us. Hey, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we don't care who was hot, who yeah, looked great. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't uh, give a fuck. Thought we were doing our due diligence. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Uh, all right, gallery. so y'all don't care, but uh, Billy Porter looked great. <laughs> I say that on every podcast, and every podcast I get killed for it because he's Billy Porter and he looks great. But he killed again. Sorry. Billy Porter's an actor from Pose. That's what I was going to ask. Pose is uh, a show that I loved. I talked about it two years ago. They went away, got renewed for a second season, and we haven't seen him since. But Gotcha. uh, Which one was he? Who was he wearing? uh, Gold Wings. Oh, I think I saw those pictures. Gold Wings. He came in... uh, Six men were carrying him or some shit. Oh, okay. Listen, he looks great. I saw the memes. (laughs) I'm sorry. What, can someone tell me what camp is? <laughs> I couldn't gather ten, any info like ten, from all, what, all I saw. Yeah, I when still don't understand how any of that correlation. Did anyone see yeah. Frank Ocean's? Uh, I, don't, I don't know how this podcast is successful. <laughs> well, I, God. I still don't know how it. Why am I supposed is. to know what camp means? Is it is it like a movie that we don't know about or something? Oh, it could be. What camp? No, Ma and Rory. <laughs> what is camp? Hey, when y'all just ignorant. What is camp? And I don't know neither, That's but camp? I ain't about to sound like y'all. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm trying to find out. Ram, what's camp? Camp is extra. Camp is stepping outside of the box. Camp is uh, theatric. I thought that was camp, the whole Met Gala's purpose. Camp is. Yeah, isn't that every Met Gala? Camp. The fam, I'm a nigga. What do, you, what do y'all want me to say? What do you want? I'm, I'm oh, giving y'all Ms. my Mister. Oh, I'm not going to sound as ignorant. I'm trying to find out. <laughs> We're seeking what? information. Yeah. You're shitting I on don't it. know what the fuck that any of this means. All right, well, I'm trying to tell you. It means extra. No. Oh. So I, the theme was I, to I be can extra. see six men carrying well, you. I feel like every year. I feel like every year he won. He got that. 
I feel like every year they're extra. So the theme this year was to be extra, extra. Because <laughs> I seen a nigga walking as a chandelier. I was like, all right. I that, <laughs> that was not a nigga. That was fucking what's the name? That was like Katy Perry. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a nigga under all of that. <laughs> My bad, Katy Perry. Katy, it looked great. Katy Perry came through trying to light shit up. Yo, <laughs> yeah. I got and then she other... changed into like a burger outfit or some shit. I said, I and J-Lo was, and J-Lo was just washing her hands like, what is this bitch doing? I mean, <laughs> camp. Yo, J J Lo was getting out that bathroom. Hell yeah. <laughs> she was terrified. Yo, I felt J Lo in that moment. Like, get this weird bitch out of here, man. Put this burger on. It's just not even saying it to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Cardi oh, yeah. looked great. Cardi Look, looked oh yeah, no, no. Where are you going? Come on, where are you going with that? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cardi looked great. <laughs> Cardi looked great, man. Uh, are you are you just joking or what? No, I'm, Cardi looked great. The blanket shit looks complicated. <laughs> I don't know how she sat down and ate in that shit, but that's true. Yeah, do they change when they get in? Is like everyone in sweats when you walk in? Yeah, just walking around. How, like, how do you do anything in Her there shit was dressed the as stairs. a chandelier? Yeah, I, I, I don't understand. Yeah, we are the most ignorant bunch in the I world. Think, no, I think we're the most honest bunch. I can't, everybody's out I'm asking I'm ignorant because I'm asking why is someone wearing a chandelier and did they no, eat with a chandelier No, we're asking the questions on? that 80% of the world is asking. You're don't worry ignorant about it. because next year when they invite us to the Met Gala, yeah, I'm, I'm you're going to be the first, you're gonna be the first <laughs> nigga in some weird shit in a Douce bottle. <laughs> well, I think you're on to something. <laughs> Hey, Rory dressed up as a Duce bottle. Wait, wait, you said you, you think I'm gonna wait to the Mets for that? <laughs> I'm gonna do that on Memorial Day. Hey, yo, that's some funny shit. Rory has a fucking bottle of Duce. <laughs> You're a Duce bottle, Rory. Oh my god. Oh, do, do y'all have any other expert analysis from the Met Gala outside of me thinking that Cardi and Billy Porter went crazy? And wait, I just so want to say, Cardi, Cardi's look, that whole. Spread out gown dress thing is the same thing. Billy Porter pulled off pulled off in whatever award show when he killed last time. So I'm not saying that he made it up. But Wait, so how and, is and you've been doing that with the frock shit for years though? So I feel you've been a little salty true. about it. Yeah, I'm not salty. About Kendall it. Jenner looked great. I remember seeing her. She looked good. <laughs> Somebody said her and her sister looked like the white chicks, and then they put the movie cover next to it, <laughs> and I laughed pretty hard. <laughs> no, Kendall. She was Marlon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she wasn't Marlon. She looked good. She did. All right, mom. I <laughs> yeah. My bad. I'm, yeah. I didn't tweet that. We got I, I it, bro. We wasn't there. No, I'm just saying she looked good. Uh, who else? Who else looked good? Wait, so how was Cardi Frank Ocean good. and Kanye extra? Because they were just wearing like some shit. Well, I would well wear. someone said they thought the theme was camping. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with them. <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's fucking it's black. See, I would have showed up with some LL Bean shit on and like yeah. Yeah, camping. Like, I'm so sick of Frank Ocean. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, Frank, I, yeah, don't Frank even can't be around. That's my thing, nigga. Do That's why I'm sick of him. Yeah, come on with this mystique. Uh, nah, he, <laughs> 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 nigga, <Let's> talk. <laughs> talk. <laughs> Say something, nigga. You mad? You mad? Because Frank won't talk. He did in a fucking starter jacket, man. Yeah, it's well, camp. I feel he was going camping. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a like good camp. jacket to wear at night at camp. Absolutely. Like camp yeah, at least he wore a tie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was Kanye camp. with camping the camping shit. Well, Kanye always dresses like he's at camp. That's nothing. The word. Him, like. Sunday service is, is camp. Can y'all stop? <laughs> camp is not what y'all are saying. Well, when you tell me what it is. Because you just said it means extra. I feel like every year. Hey, they're Savon, extra. can you tell Maul what camp is, please? Is this the Webster's Dictionary like edition? Uh, look, and then when somebody look it up, you had a beef with them. Where are we getting it from? <laughs> Who's Webster? I live on Webster. <laughs> it means what? <laughs> That's athleisure. Oh, it, should, it was yeah, athleisure. It's athleisure. Oh, okay. It's not camp. <laughs> What are y'all laughing about? <laughs> I have no idea. Who, who the fuck is Webster? I live on Webster. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Where were we? So, so did Kanye's fit go over our heads? Like, we we just not smart enough to know that it, the theme was extra and he wasn't extra, but that was him being extra because everyone else was extra. Mm. Genius. Listen, mm. and, I, and I think, I, I'm, I think that uh, Kanye and Frank both look nice. I mean, yeah. I'm sitting here talking shit. I have shit. that same Dickie, I love Dickie, Dickie, Dickie shit. I thought it's they, utilitarian. I, I thought they looked great. I thought it was rather plain and just simple, and that was fine. I don't know if it uh, is in compliance with the theme, but I don't know that the men are really supposed to be like that. I saw a bunch of men that didn't really look like they were so over the top with it. Looked like they were there and supported their partner. Mm. How'd you feel about uh, Odell and Saquon back together? He was camp. He was camping. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who was camping, Parks? Odell. <laughs> Odell was camping? Yeah. Odell. He looked like a male stripper. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> you didn't like the look? Nah, You were fucking with the kill, that was, the that kill was just, tucks? That was just camp shit. <laughs> yeah, would y'all <laughs> shut the fuck up? When he, go, when he gets in his camping bag? That's, no, that's not how he, thought, he thought you were in a training seen? camp. <laughs> <laughs> so he wore shorts? Yeah. He ripped the sleeves off. No, he wore a kilt. That's he, how he should. He ripped the sleeves off his jacket and put got a ready towel to play on. football. Yeah, training camp. Uh, is, 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 are there any other outfits that you fine gentlemen would like to comment on? <laughs> no, nah, man. I did hear though a little insider info. Ooh. Celebrities don't be paying for those tickets. Mm. The people that dress them pay for them, mm. and then just give them the outfits. The tea. So the celebs not really giving up that that charity bread that they yeah, saying. You just spilled the tea all over the carpet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Get a paper towel <laughs> You've been walking around With that information in your head I, Yeah man <laughs> Trying not to spill it <laughs> Trying to hold the secrecy Who'd you oh. ask for this information? <laughs> the streets Oh okay <laughs> Can we never talk about The Met Gala again? <laughs> I don't give a fuck What they do next year I don't ever want to talk about The Met Gala again in my life What you if the pod with the goes? Met? Nah Like what if we all go as a nah, family? man Fuck that Maul is going next the year The Met Gala Maul's <laughs> gonna wear a kill him. Maul and Biggs I'm not going to no Met Gala <laughs> Why though? Here's the theme Camp uh, Okay See listen <laughs> we, we, we bring the s'mores? We're, like, I don't <laughs> we're, listen We're four guys So I totally expected our response To the Met Gala And their camp theme To be this way Right? But Somewhere, somebody holds the theme to, like, uh, a high degree. And if you don't follow it, I'm sure somebody's going to be upset somewhere. So I don't think that Nikki really followed the theme. Not that I'm, I'm a dude, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't have followed it either. But uh, she got a little backlash from it, it looks like. Oh, yeah? Well, they were saying she was pregnant. As much backlash... Yeah, whoa, but that's whoa, like wait, 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 wait. So I just looked up the word camp. And it's ostentatious, exaggerated, affected, theatrical, effeminate, or homosexual. I'm cool on the Met Gala. Y'all have fun. You wanna be ostrinate? <sighs> no. But I said extra and theatrical and like why niggas don't ever like pay a definition any mind when their friend tells them. Cause that doesn't work with my argument. Yeah, I can't. And and it's just too much shit you got to try to accomplish when getting dressed. You got to think about all of those terms and meanings. Like, nah. Do y'all put any stock into this Nikki being pregnant rumor that's circulating at the moment? No. Um, no. No, as in you don't think she is or you're just ignoring the rumor? Uh, I'm just ignoring the rumor. But, I mean, her and her. her Yo, what are guys allowed to pay attention to and still be cool? <laughs> Cause I understand, like I feel you. We shouldn't give a fuck about whether Nikki's pregnant or not. We shouldn't give a fuck about the Met Gala. We shouldn't give a fuck that Billy Porter looked great. Like, what are we allowed to pay attention to and just be cool outside of sports? Sports, oh. sports, yeah. music. Uh, yeah, but only specific music. Yeah, <laughs> we can't talk. Like, about like someone has to get shot on the album for for it to be. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's why chicks think they luck up when they met a nigga that's into like museums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think. Does the there. museum line like still work? I oh, think yeah, so. yeah, for sure. It Chicks does. still feel like they're a little special when yes. dude mm-hmm. says, let's go to the museum. It and does, don't yeah. and don't know about the exhibit. Like, if you have information on the actual exhibit, oh, I feel like oh, I you might be, be able to knock that down in the bathroom. Girls here. <laughs> no, it works. I can't believe it. That's great that the museum line's still working. And are museums free for the most part? Oh, yeah, most of them in New York. Or you got to do a little suggested donation, which means you can walk in for free. <laughs> suggested donation Give them a dollar Yeah Just on But the then arm, is she gonna Look at you a little Tell them to keep the change And you'd be like Nah they do the Met Gala here They got yeah. 15 million Just sitting yeah, Just come in <laughs> They don't need it <laughs> I don't think the Met Gala Is a museum <laughs> Man, <my call. laughs> It is a museum Okay See Why are you suggesting me to donate You got 15 million chilling It's a fundraiser Roy. Yeah They're raising funds <laughs> There's mad <laughs> other funds That need to be raised For other shit I uh, agree The museum line is like well, a long time ago, niggas used to be getting off the Bronx Zoo line. Like the yeah. Bronx See, Zoo I used think to the be zoo, a date. Oh, I would yeah, enjoy the zoo. Rory. No, I, I'm happy that's still working. The zoo is great. Shit, not the Bronx Zoo. Lost my virginity after the Bronx Zoo. I've never been to the field zoo. Trip. After Bronx Zoo? No, at uh, a field, after a field trip. That would be a wild place to lose your virginity. No, I tried in the little gondola thing. It just didn't work. <laughs> <out. laughs> it was attempted. In the swan? No, nah, the little joints that go over the park. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do y'all go when y'all try to get on your eclectic date shit? Uh, Steinway. 
<laughs> Steinway. <laughs> I'm a waterfront guy. Nice little walk on the waterfront. A walk on the waterfront, <laughs> this nigga says. <laughs> You guys are great. <laughs> the walk on which the waterfront? The East River? <laughs> the Hudson? The, uh, yeah, man. Some great views. The great views. That nigga on River Walk. Yeah. <laughs> a walk on the waterfront. Look at the water. Yeah. The water's been very here. romantic. Centuries. In Get in the ferry. And I'd be like, yo, my grandfather, the bridges. All this shit. <laughs> all this shit is Yo, him. he did all this shit. Yeah. A good restaurant always works too. Like a mm. restaurant she doesn't know about. Is that eclectic? Um, it depends on the ambiance of the restaurant. Okay. Or yeah. the cuisine. Yeah, if you take it a nice little tuck yeah. spot, yeah. that's always cool. And, it's, and the food is good, like, she'll re- probably remember yeah, that. Yeah, because Shorty's a long probably time. been to Chart House 15 times. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, all the, the, all the BBQ. Philippe's. <laughs> yeah, don't take it to Philippe's. <laughs> all the rapper Philippe's. spots. Philippe's. Yeah, you know, once a rapper name a spot, don't go there no more. Give me oh this list God. in about six more months. Too hurt right now. <laughs> You gotta relax, bro. <laughs> you gotta fucking relax. Come on, man. All right, all right come on. Forget it. Jesus. Uh, all right, what else is there to talk about? Let's see. Off of this Nicki Minaj shit, since these are uh, uh, these fellows don't Listen, have anything man, she, to say she about looks, it. She looks like she's in love. So maybe if she is pregnant, pregnant congrats. Oh, and you know, yeah, it's great. Blessings. If she if she is, but I don't follow the rumor like that. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, if she is, congrats. I don't necessarily think she is. Mm-hmm. I just don't feel like an artist would pop up at the Met Gala if they were trying to hide a pregnancy. Yeah. Nah, that could be the rollout. That's the teaser. I don't think Nicki Minaj <laughs> needs the pregnancy rollout. <laughs> I don't think she does either. Yeah, but. so I'm, I'm going to pass on that. But I thought everybody looked great, man. Shout out to everybody who attended. Shout out to everybody who knows what it is. Uh, and shout out to everybody. Listen, man, I don't, I don't give a fuck about the Met Gala. What you want me to say, man? <laughs> <laughs> I got real shit going on at home. <laughs> That's how I know, because you shouting everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> you trash. Shout out your way shout through. Shout out to everybody. I you all look great. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how y'all look. Uh, but all for this I don't give a that. fuck how y'all look. I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't washed my ass in days. <laughs> should see what the fuck I'm wearing. <laughs> you should see what I'm wearing. You should, you should see the camp in my underwear right now. <laughs> Body's washed clothes in weeks. Yo, yeah, let me uh, point. You know, this is not how this podcast is supposed to be going. But uh, let's take a break. Let me tell y'all. You know what I did find funny during all this? And again, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna laugh, at, at, laugh at the parts that I can laugh at about this. Uh, while being respectful to what everybody's going through, uh, but oh, you know course, what's funny course. about this? <laughs> like I've gotten like hey, we're joking I, on you, not her. I know. I want to be clear yeah, on that. No, I'm joking on me her. too. I don't want the fan. You know, fans get shit fucked up. Start adding yeah. her. Yo, yeah, relax. Yeah. No, no, no. Calm relax. We, we love her. Yeah. We're joking on jokes. Calm down. Uh, but this is what I got a good laugh. I got a good laugh at male support, right? And what I mean by that <laughs> is like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I, I've been getting a lot of texts and a lot of calls. From men, mm-hmm. like men that you know and you fuck with, but not men that you speak to every day. Mm-hmm. And niggas that are like, yo, how you feeling? The, the check in. What's going on? You good? Do you need anything? And normally when people hit you that you don't really want to talk to about these things, just give them some generic type. Of course. Same shit, different day. You know, <laughs> we all we all been there. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, because niggas is just being nosy. Like, niggas is just trying yeah. to hit you to see if see it's if real. fuck your ex. Yeah, yeah, I know, like, I know nigga, how this goes. Like, niggas is corny. Yeah, so and, and if you don't talk to me about, like, little regular day shit, what makes you think I want to talk to you about something so traumatic in my life? Yeah, like, like, that's what I don't understand. I really only hit my close friends when it comes to this shit. I don't talk to you on a daily basis about anything. Yeah, Let me talk see, to you about the most hurtful thing in your life right now. Yeah. See, but on the flip side of that, because normally, uh, egotistically, I'm with Rory on this. But on the flip side of that, women always get the support. Men oh, never. What? Like, women get the casual support. Mm-hmm. And men don't get shit. That's true. Yeah. Yo, a woman, and this has nothing to do with your situation, just hypothetical, a, a woman will openly cheat on a man and will get more sympathy in the breakup than the dude. Mm. Sis, what did he, how did he push you there? <laughs> <laughs> Fair what? How did he push you there, sis? <laughs> so at the end of all these exchanges with these guys, you know, while I'm giving them the generic shit, there was like a few of them, and when I say few, maybe six of them, they replied with different variations of, keep getting money. <laughs> Just keep stacking. 
Mm-hmm. That's men's always go to something that has to do with grinding or getting. But money. that's Yo, why now you can focus on your dollars. That's why I'm <laughs> laughing in the house, like fam. I'm dying inside. Like money's not <laughs> 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 my fucking family's been stripped from me. <laughs> the fuck do riches have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> like I have money, great. I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> That's funny. Why niggas think money solve whatever? It helps. <laughs> not really. It mm. helps. It don't. Yeah, it helps. It does not. Because going through a heartbreak and not knowing if you're gonna be able to pay the rent is a lot worse yeah, than true. fucking going through a heartbreak and having yep. acres and land. I'm with and you. Yeah. The I'm ability you. to take a trip somewhere and clear your mind. Yeah. Trust okay, me, bro. Yeah, I understand God, what you're saying. God forbid you want to go out and be out of the house that makes you sad. Don't do a breakup in the studio. If you're poor, <laughs> yeah, God forbid you trying to function through the breakup, but actually have to really work every day to make sure ends meet. Go through. Like, a, at go least through, if you rich, you could take go like through, a, a go sabbatical th- and yeah. just go away. For go a through second. a breakup yeah. and have to get on a train every morning. That's yeah. not true, Roy, because you niggas can't take a sabbatical alone. Like. I got money right now. I can't just take a trip. Oh, it's me. Why not? I'm <laughs> sad. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. that's lit. You can't take a trip alone. I'm about to take a, a trip by sure myself. Yes, you can. Yeah. Absolutely can. I don't I've know. I've done, I've done it before. It's- <laughs> 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 take my guy or something. I don't know, man. Oh, fuck him on his face. <laughs> Wait, a trip alone? Wait, what, the what, you mean? what you mean you don't know how to be alone? I don't know how to be alone. Nigga, just be alone. No. Nigga, go, go do something. Go out in the world. I just want to sleep. Yeah, do that in so, Fiji. Yo, hold up. Yeah, so worry. niggas don't know how to be alone? Like, seriously, is this a thing? I, no, I do. I'm my only child. Huh? I do. You know how to Oh yeah Hell yeah child, You know how to be alone Oh life was yeah. alone yeah, That's like, not, I disagree with that though What I don't feel like An only child Know how to be alone I think the exact opposite An only child Is the only child Cause you came in the world So fucked up Your parents didn't want Another one So that means <laughs> So that means You don't really know How to function Like just alone <laughs> like, They wanna try again And like, nah We don't need another Hell, one Hell you don't want Another one of this nigga yeah, Running around yeah, nah. No way So I ain't rolling With that shit No but we're forced To like be alone. Being alone is healthy, though, man. It's it's being alone too much is not healthy, but being alone is healthy. It, you 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 learn about yourself. You you think yeah. about more things. Think about things you so can you're change. So talking about masturbation? No, not no, well, first not of even all. A sexual getting over thing. a breakup. Just part of that is masturbation. Absolutely. I, I mean, oh, it's jerk your way through it, bro. That's, 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 that's the only time it feels better. <laughs> trust trust no, me. You second. can't cry and jerk off. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, it's you can, it's nigga. Can't. <laughs> yeah, nigga crying and jerking off. <laughs> you a sick nigga, man. <laughs> hey, hey, no. And then yes, if you, you can. can. <laughs> You cannot say it. You cannot say it. Nah, nah, that's impossible. Yeah, that's I'm physically you, impossible. It's possible to nut and be sad. Telling you, <laughs> that don't even go together. I think that's impossible. For my real? Nigga. You, no, you no rather, I've seen American Psycho. You, you, he did. You rather nut with her? Nah, man. You can't. <laughs> you can't nut and be sad, bro. Your body don't work like I'm that. I'm just telling you. Nah. Something. nah, nah, nah All right. Well, nah. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> the important alone, things. Man. I feel yeah. like masturbation has been a, a, a strong topic for way too long in this podcast. Really? Uh, in the world. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah. Off of the it's Nicki. Kind of like a thing. <laughs> People off, are doing it. <laughs> off of the uh off of the Nicki Minaj. Oh no, I'm not doing this. Off of the Nicki Minaj fake pregnancy story. Not I, fake pregnancy. Pregnancy rumors. Well, she well, may be pregnant, she may not. She can't oh, say true, it's that's fake. True, that's true. Can't say it's fake. Uh I thought this was interesting. Abortions after six weeks will now be illegal in Georgia. Hmm. Governor Kemp has signed into law the state's fetal heart bill, a piece of legislation that would prohibit abortion after a heartbeat is detected in an embryo. That is something that usually happens between five and six weeks into a woman's pregnancy before many women uh, before many women know they are pregnant. Abortions rights advocates have called the bill an effective ban on abortion in the state. Uh, I think that's pretty groundbreaking. I don't know how I feel about it, but. I know how I feel. I, f- I figured it, uh, it was important to be announced. Uh, listen, I'm always for it. Sh- it should be a woman's choice. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Shout out like, to the women's all on that these, one. That's your yeah, all of these laws, all of these abortion laws that men are passing, is like sick. just like <laughs> stupid to me. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Word. Like, let women decide what they want to do to and with their bodies. Period. Yeah. I mean, that's how we can get away from all of this shit. It's been too many years that it's going back and forth in court shit about this law, about abortion rights and all this shit. Women have the choice, period. Or should. Or should have the choice, yeah. period. That's it. 
Uh, I agree. What else is important? Uh, should we write, write to the shits of what happened on the timeline today? Kind of felt like 09 again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it was a, lit. So a lot of misogyny on the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> what, fill me in, please. I was soaking in my bathtub. <laughs> well, with no water in it. <laughs> <laughs> Fully dressed. <laughs> Hey, a nigga in the back <laughs> with no water. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, your dude friends are the worst people to be around during a breakup. Like, I'm really going through things. This nigga was in the bathtub with a skull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and real sick, jerking and crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, All right, that's the last one, Joe. My no, it's not. Man. It's not right. close. Know, it's, like, it's not the last it one. Be, it can't be the last one. Oh man, yeah, that's some funny shit. Man. Uh, uh, right, what well, was somebody saying? Somebody say something. Well, earlier, <laughs> earlier, uh, Aisha Curry was on the Red Table Joint, uh, and she was saying that she hates that there be groupies around her husband, this and that, whatever. And then another clip surfaced. Ooh. You found a second clip by, 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 sur- by surfaced I mean they just put the video out <laughs> <laughs> And then another Rory's pretty good at the segue stuff I'm telling you <laughs> Then another video surfaced. I have the clip Let's hear it Me And like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity Is the fact that yeah Like there are all these women like throwing themselves But me Like the past 10 years Like I don't have any of that like i have zero this sounds weird but like male attention and so then you like i begin to internalize it. it and i'm like you're, is something wrong with you're me not, like, you're not looking what you're not like, looking. Like, you're not looking. but i'm gonna tell you something else too when network. your radar's turned <laughs> off it's the red table because i dealt with that for years too like and i was young like you yeah I'm like, like oh my god fair. i mean because i don't what? want it but yeah. it'd be nice to know that like Someone's looking, but that when your radar turned off, yeah. right? That can get real Don't dangerous. ever think for one minute that it ain't no some men out there looking at you like I wish. Right. Oh, Jeez, I didn't check the uh, extra folder in Instagram DMs. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta hit requests. <laughs> I was just going to say I've been thinking about Jada Pinkett all my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she would ever feel like men don't want her. Like that's just like I was surprised to hear them talk about like. Men Jim want Maul is great. I'm just saying, men want Jada Pinkett. Maul like, is not yeah, the I don't first. Think that ever left. When did Maul become the first respondent to the topics? <laughs> I'm just saying, especially bro. these topics. Yeah. That's just, dangerous. Just, yeah, just chill for a second, Maul. I'm just saying, let bro. us get in our bag first. All right, man, go ahead. Man. <laughs> All right, so well, I do find it a little odd that she gets mad that Steph can't have the groupies, but she wants the groupies. Typical, it's a little, little selfish. Typical. <laughs> Women are trash, man. Women are trash. <laughs> Rory brought this topic up just to shit on women. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I feel bad for, for Aisha Curry. Why? Because Aisha Curry always says shit that's like, to me, totally normal and just gets killed because she's like this light-skinned <laughs> basketball wife. <laughs> Aisha Curry says, Yo, I she really, cooks, I really enjoy cooking for my man. <laughs> Nick's bitches kill her. <laughs> Aisha Curry says, Hey, man, you know, just don't like being so revealed out in public. Just like keeping some things covered for the imagination. <laughs> Bitches killed her. <laughs> like, and now, now what is she saying? Hey, man, it's just. She wants to be wanted wants, or wants to know that she's wanted. By, by other men. Yeah. Okay. So I will say this. All women feel like that. I don't think so. I think, I think, I think, I think all women, some, a lot of women know that men want them. Sam only has eyes for me. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe she wants other people to have eyes. <laughs> maybe she wants other people to have eyes for her. Well, I don't understand how you could feel that and then get mad when men like a pic on Instagram. Mm. It's, but here's the thing. Or I should, because when I like, that means you saw it and now you, I have your attention and now you have attention on me. No, you know what it is? I think, I think what I... Well, I don't what stand I, by any of this, by the way. What Aisha Curry... <laughs> I think she's just one of those women that's in a situation where men, obviously she's an attractive woman. Yeah. She's a, she's a pretty woman. But I think men look at her like she's so completely removed from the market. It's like, why would I even think about her in, in a sexual manner or like that? It's like, yo, she's mad. She has the yeah. American dream, basically. She's yeah, married. When, when, her no, husband wait. is super successful. That is the perfect person to cheat with. 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Well, that's why you I'm wouldn't give her attention not, publicly. I'm not saying it's not. Your but husband men, is gone 42 games. No, but, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying lonely. is, men, men are not gonna object that. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. Shh. I bet you if, you if you put Aisha Curry in Google, I bet you feet comes up next. Feet? You ever notice that? Have you ever tried to Google someone like a celebrity, and the first thing that pops up is feet? Oh, like people want to see yeah, their yeah. Yeah. Google filters are insane. No, <laughs> try it. Try it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, nah, but her whole brand has been the, the whole, we was married at like yeah, 17. So, so men are not. We have all these kids. I do a cooking show in turtlenecks. Yeah, so, so niggas yeah, ain't going to be. I can see people not rushing. <laughs> I do a cooking show in turtlenecks. <laughs> yeah, like men ain't going to be in her, in her comments talking about, yo, that ass look nice. <laughs> Like you can't, cause niggas like yo, how you go at Aisha Curry like that? Like it's like, like one of those. You look like, nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can't go at Aisha Curry like that with that type of energy. It's like that's Aisha Curry. Like leave Aisha Curry alone. But she is beautiful. And, She's a and pretty to the woman women that are interpreting sure. this as you have to dress like a hoe to get male attention. You're just stupid no. and don't realize it's, it's just the whole picture that she is happily married with a family. So she's mad, she's mad men are being respectful. Men are, yeah, men are not trying to infiltrate that. Out willing, like just out and they're talking about that in the man cave, like I'll bust Aisha ass. But <laughs> niggas ain't gonna be in her niggas ain't gonna be in her comments talking about, yo, that ass look nice. Like, yo. <laughs> yeah, but all right, we we gonna have an honest conversation here with all due respect. You ain't never heard it. No well, how many man caves you been in and heard that? He go to the clubhouse after like every that. show. Niggas are, niggas like Aisha Curry? I've heard I've heard dudes say that, but with niggas talking about her in the manner you're talking, like, yo, I'm no, and a respectful like, yo, that's a great wife. Aisha Curry down, I'll kill. That is the worst thing I've ever no, heard. I've, I've heard, yo, say I can't that. wait to kill her. I, I've heard dudes say that about Aisha Curry for sure. She's she's attractive. She's very pretty. That they want to kill. Yeah. Well, right. they would. Not that they want to. They would. All right. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, well, I, just when you give off the perfect wife vibes. That's what you get in return. Yeah. Plus, everyone <laughs> likes Steph. I can't wait. Yeah, to be... like Steph is like a guy that guys oh, like. Oh, please! That nigga's in a fucking shooting slump. She's trying to get DM sent. <laughs> <laughs> they about to break up the squad. My man, my, my man definitely said in the group chat when that clip lit, he was like, "Yo, Warriors ain't winning this shit." <laughs> like, nah. Steph about to start kicking that shit all over the place, man. Like my wife, he talking like this. They're gonna be talking crazy. Yeah, him how you think that man. locker room was today? Quiet. <laughs> so it's the only thing it can be today after that clip came out. Yeah, don't think they roasted oh, the, the star of the team's wife talking about she wants to be wanted. You think they played what is love? No, I can't wait till <laughs> fucking Khaled album comes out so we can stop talking about this shit. <laughs> I can't wait till one of y'all to put some music out. I can't wait. Nah, nobody on that music, music shit coming. this year. That shit is over. That was last year. Niggas still nobody fuck with that music. It ain't shit. really been much music, like. No. And I've, I keep saying that, but what I mean is, it don't seem like niggas are really trying to put, put music out. No, it's it's been music put out, but it's not none of the, the the bigger artists haven't put any music out. But a lot of people have put music out though, for sure. Uh, did you listen to? Uh, did y'all listen to uh, Ari Lennox? Yeah, one time. Yes. No, yeah, but somebody definitely album. called me, and it's getting weird now. Like people think that whenever they see Rory, they're supposed to see me. Okay. So somebody hit my well, phone. I feel like that. Somebody hit my phone like, uh, Rory's here. Where are you? I'm like, first said of that? all, where's Rory? <laughs> and second of all, do I have to be where Rory is? Like, I just didn't understand it. Uh, no, but you was at the listening party, correct? I was at the listening party for about 20 minutes. Mm. Sam and I went. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Uh, <laughs> Probably I, only 20 minutes. Doesn't I count could, now. I could have sworn. <laughs> no, I was there. I could have sworn it was going to be like a real she, intimate. She signed to you? No, she's not. Um, <laughs> she's just doing some marketing on the side. Yo, yo, when are y'all going to admit that niggas is industry, man? Come on. Come on, give it to me. I think Rory admits that he's industry I, yeah, openly. I've, oh, then never mind. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm, of us are industry. I don't know why y'all keep playing that. I'm not industry. It's fine. Don't worry you about it. You in the streets? No. Okay. <laughs> Remember that one? I missed that, that, I missed that bar. <laughs> <laughs> niggas used to get that off. All the time. I'm not industry. I'm, I'm in, in the, the streets. streets. <laughs> Who's starting that? Rough Riders? Come on, DNY. <laughs> that sounds like a Rough Rider boy. They yeah, definitely sure. started that. It do. Uh, yep. I thought it was going to be real intimate. It wasn't. <laughs> that was the mixiest shit ever. Me and Sam walked in, walked immediately the fuck back out, and uh, was like, well, I guess we'll just listen to this at midnight. Oh, <laughs> uh, remember that? Walking somewhere with your fiance? No, and Joe. We don't remember that. <laughs> not feeling it together and leaving, <laughs> no. like, immediately. <laughs> no. Just looking at each other like, huh, oh, we're But it here. was at a really nice spot. It looked really great. I'm glad everyone's showing up for her, because I have been championing her album for... A long time now. So, shout out to Ari. Yeah, I liked it. On the one list I gave it. Yeah. Shout out to Ari Lennox. Yeah, I like again, it. I think she's going to have her, I hate to compare shit, but this is a good way to say it. I think she'll have her control moment this year, mm. where that kind of shifted from your old work to you on a different level now. <clears throat> <from> one album. <clears throat> she ain't getting that moment this year, but 
I, I'm seeing a lot of coming. people uh, support her though, and and definitely talking about her. So the energy is changing. That control shit. Like I don't. We don't, niggas don't give uh, SZA enough credit, but yeah, that was I'm, I'm teetering in maybe three album. years. Ask me. Uh, I might call that a classic in three. I'll years. call it a classic right now. I'm me okay too. With that. SZA's me too. Album? Yeah. 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 Me too. Um, it's close to it. I will it's die. Probably in, I'll die. It's flow. It's from. Every single track. I will absolutely die in that hell. Compared yeah. to how it was treated when it came out, compared to how the label viewed it, compared to some, just some of the trouble that she was having releasing it, mm. uh, in terms of what it accomplished, what it did, how it sounded, I'm 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 down I'll die in that hill too. Yeah. Okay, so I have three funerals to go to. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nah, it's <a> classic album. <clears throat> uh I will stay in the music shit. Uh your man Logic is at it again, Joe. Parks, what are you doing? I want to meet Logic. <laughs> I want to meet Logic. Nice guy. We should have him on the show. Super nice guy. Super I don't want to nice do that, guy. but I want to meet Logic. <laughs> I just want to kick it over coffee. I want to meet him. Okay. Super nice guy, like Park said. Yeah. Uh, Logic had something to say about sampling on Twitter. You know, saying someone's a nice guy doesn't say anything about them, really. It's okay. Like yeah, everybody, nice everybody, everybody can be a nice guy to somebody they meet. Of or course. Or a few people they meet. Yeah, or but when a, hit when the a, nice a, guy flick. Like, how do you ever notice somebody <laughs> is purely and genuinely a nice guy? But, you know, well, a you lot know. of people that say Logic is a nice guy have spent some time around him and know him on a different level. So I take that to have some type of weight. Like, okay, if everybody has the same type of story to say about yeah, him. Yeah, I like, think he can back up his niceness with acts. But he seems like he's a nice guy. I don't, I've never, I've never looked at Logic at interview or, and, and just felt like, oh, he's an asshole. But Joe is like, and I, I have, I share it somewhat, not as much as him. Joe just doesn't like nice people. Joe doesn't like nice people until he meets them. No, that's not true. Don't do that. Let's then give it. Then they're the clues gone away. Let's let's give an accurate explanation because Rory knows what I'll be saying. I have a definition of industry nice, which is different from nice. And industry nice is uh, the people that are just nice to whoever because you never know. <laughs> that's smart though. It is. I'm not In this it, business, yeah. but but it it it's it's detectable to me. Yeah. Okay. That, so so I can feel it. And it but even if it's detectable, I mean I. And I'm not saying that about Logic because I've never met him. But only, that is why I'm saying I'd like to meet him. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, the whole industry nice thing, I understand it. But I think that even in that, if you are if you maneuver within the industry the right way, I think that says a lot about you too, though. I agree. I agree okay. with that. Yeah, so, there's, there's ways to survive and not have to be fake with every single person. Oh, yeah, like, hey, sure. what up? For like, sure. you can do that yeah. <laughs> and move. Uh, but yeah, Logic had something to say about sampling that I thought was kind of interesting. Just want to take a moment and say, fuck sample clearance. Clearing samples, fuck people taking all producers' money for not doing shit, and fuck the companies that say no just because. This is hip-hop. I'm tired of replaying shit. Fuck the money. This is why mixtapes were so good. Mm. I understand where he's coming from, but he's wrong. Well, he's wrong. I was about to say, <laughs> explain it to me. Yeah, then. he's wrong. Uh, I'm, with, I'm with no on that logic. I'm yeah. sorry. If you want to take someone's work... They should be compensated for, for it. And saying they and, and saying you're replaying it. And say they <laughs> do shit is insane. <laughs> yeah, you know I what think I'm saying? I think what he was trying to say was the procedures and the steps to get a sample cleared shouldn't be so difficult. Uh, but it should. I don't. I don't <laughs> think. I think sometimes it's extreme though. Nah. Like I mean, I, I can just certain... only imagine Logic, thirty years from now, has a great record, and someone wants to take part of that record and remix it. To pe- to an audience that's never heard it because they know it's gonna work because they never heard it and him they'd be like nah no money for you logic yeah, he'd be all, pissed it's all fun and games until Donald Trump wants to flip your shit and make fucking build the wall volume one you're gonna be like nah homie I agree I think uh <laughs> I think that he is beefing about the procedure I still just think that the beef is wrong uh if you're sampling somebody and now you have to call whoever owns what you're sampling. And if that person had a bad day or a great day and they feel like saying, all right, great, you could use that record, but I want 95%, then that's right. their right. Right. It's, yeah. it's their shit that they made or the shit that they own. <laughs> right. Uh, and you get to charge whatever you want to charge for it. Who the fuck is logic to say, I'm tired of replaying things? Right. The nigga go create some original. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah. that I agree with. That's what I'm saying. I think his original, what he was originally trying to say was the procedures to get samples cleared is just sometimes a little too strenuous. Of course, and sometimes and you don't like, deal God directly. Damn, like, you and know I mean? don't really want to hear that from him because a nigga like him could get anything cleared. Right. 
Like, I want to hear that from some of the people who... Up and coming. You know, he coming. should... And, and I do agree with his sentiment that I miss. I do miss the mixtape era because of this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's what makes hip-hop so great to that point, but that's why there was the album and the mixtape. No one was... I mean, you could make a case that they profited from the mixtapes, but not directly. Like, when Wayne rapped over some shit, some brand, some fucking famous song, he wasn't really profiting No, he was, it, but that's, but that's, to that's a degree, near the, yeah. here nor there. That's why rap is great with the mixtape shit, but, dog, you on your album. Uh, like, Kats you're, Kats you're Kats profiting Kats off this. You're going to go on tour I mean, and play that record every night. Cats were eating off mixtapes. Like, let's, let's be very clear. People were making money off mixtapes. Last decade, there were a lot of us making money off mixtapes. The problem with that is it, it doesn't age well. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't age well, uh, and you can't get paid the correct way. Right. I guess. Yeah. Very. Shit. Tell that to Fab. I would. Yeah. I think Fab has had a phenomenal yeah, he's career a, he's a, for yeah. somebody that Fab is. I don't view he has Fab a residency as, in Vegas. Well, absolutely. He's, he's, he's. This is not a knock I, on his career I whatsoever. I don't view him but, as a mixtape artist, by the way. Right. How, how is? How can you not? Because he had a lot of yes. successful albums as well. Right. But okay. When was his last quote unquote studio album? Not mixtape. A long time. It's been a while. Okay, you know so what? he's kind of like this argument. Fab more. is still, he's still so relevant. He has a residency in well, Vegas. You that could that make that a, you could make a real case that, that Fab is more of a mixtape artist than he is absolutely, an album or a single artist more than he is an album artist. But that even you could. But I'm just talking about how I view him. Yeah, and I, not to say his I, albums honestly, it's been, probably he probably has an equal close to equal amount albums to mixtapes. No, no, he has more mixtapes. Listen, I think more people like Fab's mixtapes than actual albums. Well, that's probably true. I would, so I would, he, has, I would, he has six albums. Okay. I couldn't even start to count how many mixtapes Fab has. He has at least 10 mixtapes. All right, let's slow down before we get lost. The old definition of... And not to say that's rare with artists, because a lot of people have But that's why I want to clear it up, because yeah. the old definition of mixtape act used to be someone who didn't have uh, the catalog of actual retail albums mm. right. uh, somebody who wasn't able to put them out or just didn't have the ability to create one I don't look at Fab that way though he does have more mixtapes than retail albums because he has fucking la largely successful singles and albums Yeah, like largely granted he has a bunch of mixtapes uh, the soul tapes the, there is no competition uh, he's got a bunch of them but yeah. his success comes from the albums the longevity probably comes from the fans that he uh, accrued during the mixtapes. Well, probably yeah, comes from a little bit of both, honestly. The fact that he's just singles. constantly been working. But shit, if anything, that's a great example that would kind of speak to uh, the point that I'm saying. Because you weren't able to make a correct living off of mixtapes because they napstered us, yeah. you had to do something else. And... I don't know if Fab is. Uh, well, I don't no, know if I, Fab I has. They, uh, they streamed us. That's what killed the real mixtape is streaming. That's it, true. It, it killed the download. Like, yeah. Everyone now has to go direct. Only people listen on Spotify, Apple Music, title. Like, if you want to be successful and make any type of noise, you have to put it directly to the DSPs. Right. Like, you can't just throw your link out. I mean, you can, but it's not really gonna move it. So you have to get your shit cleared when you used to be able to like, all right, let me just get hot the way Wale, Cole, well, Drake, et cetera, did. You don't know well, what he's well, that, that, But that's why I'm saying uh, Napster. I, I agree with what you're saying. But ownership dead at the mixtape. Whether that be ownership of a sample, ownership of a song. Uh, when when the labels started cracking down, yo, we own this music. You can't yeah. put it out. Like there were, there was, there's a plethora of reasons that mixtapes died, and I think I mean, ownership is yeah. at the core. Yeah, I think I actually think more accountability because it's still the same process of the ownership that it was during the mixtape era. It's just everything has to be accounted for now. That's all. Logic can go get any sample he wants. Number one, I agree. Yeah. Logic well, can go. Part. Logic can go and pay for any sample that he wants. Right. This shit he talking about is like an annoyance. Yeah. I understand him. Damn, I got I got to replay this. Fuck, I don't feel like it. Uh, the original I did to the sample was much harder. I get that, but you're in the music business, right? Yeah. I, I'm not. I don't want to hear all that from from Logic. Sorry, I want to hear that from fucking uh, who do I want to hear that from? Rizelda or somebody. I right. want to hear from somebody who maybe went and made a, a super dope record in the studio and then went to reach out to Regina Bell and Regina Bell said, I never heard of fucking Rizelda. I'm not I'm not clearing the sample. Right. Yeah. Like I want to hear from that. Like somebody yeah, who's having those or... fights and those struggles. Yeah. And the, the, the complicated part that I do agree with them is the, the master side. Because when you clear a sample, it's two sides that you have to clear. You have to clear the publishing, the songwriters who wrote the song. 
and then the the actual use of the recording sound that the label usually owns. A lot of times you can get the the song cleared from the artist for a percentage and maybe a little bit of a fee. The label is trying to crack you every single time for percentage and fee. So that part I do completely agree with him, and that part is complicated and annoying. Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, I guess if you're not... that specific artist doesn't even own their music and you're just talking to a publishing company. Yeah. I would be a little annoyed. Like, how are you going to tell me what that artist would or would not want? They, right. they don't own their music. You own it. Right. I would be annoyed there. <clears throat> but nah. I mean, I think one day Logic's music is is going to last and I think some kid will sample him and I think Logic will want his compensation on that music. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I don't he will, know. He will. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, it's all well and good until someone tries to flip your shit and you don't like it. Yeah. yeah, and it's true. Or you're not working anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you need some bread. Not to say Logic won't be working in 30 years or whatever it may be, but it happens to a lot of these artists like that people are sampling. They're not really active, so mm. that income is important to them. Yeah. Uh, we skipped over that Joiner thing when we were in uh, Tampa. Did anyone watch that, the video? I did. I thought it was pretty dope. Uh, I will say it caught my attention because everyone on Earth, including like Rihanna, posted it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, Rihanna heard this before me. <laughs> I, f- I feel like shit when it's my job to hear these things. <laughs> and you putting out makeup every five minutes. Then I, thought, I, then I thought maybe Joiner's a plant. Mm. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Oh, I don't know. I was about to say. <laughs> tell, me, tell me more here. Yeah, no, I was shocked at how many people posted it. I thought it was great. I think the whole song is, is cool. Um, but that's what Joyner does. So, yeah, yeah, he's really good at putting out uh, compelling videos and songs that match the videos, or vice versa. Yeah, he's he's figured that out. That's his thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, I know. So is it too early to hate on it? <laughs> yeah, I think it's too early to hate. Well, it, that's it not true. Me, Droog it, has been hating on it for a little while, and I'm with Droog now. Well, no, <laughs> this is gonna be my point. I because I hate when people try to do things to go viral, and now I'm starting to think maybe I just hate it when it sucks. Because I do be thinking Joyner is trying to go viral with these things. Yeah. So then I was questioning myself on, like, I can't be shitting all these kids that are trying to go viral by running into Foot Locker and slamming the fucking mannequin on the ground and running out. I just think that's ignorant and corny. But it's still kind of the same goal at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah I think every artist is trying to go viral. You just go about think, it differently. I think the negative connotation that's attached to trying attempting to go viral needs to be erased. That needs to be dismissed. Yeah. Now, I think everyone is trying to go viral. Now, how you go about that and what you do to try to go viral is where the difference comes yeah. in. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, some niggas just some doing integrity what the fuck ever. Yeah. But if you have a dope record and you put it together a dope visual, you absolutely want that video to go viral. Yeah. You want some you know what traction what on yeah. whatever it is that you're working on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And traction well, I guess, could be I guess, going is viral. Slow, <laughs> is it a slow build gearing up to more longevity? Because viral does not mean longevity or success by any degree. We've seen that. And we see that every single day when something goes viral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why I don't know if sometimes you're just being cheap just to be in the moment or you're building. Because the slow build, yeah, you want to go viral, but you want to do it in a But I think the world is revolves around way. the moment now, though. The world oh, yeah. we live in today. Get our information. Every Everything is about seconds. the moment. I think Joyner killed, and I want to bring us back to topic here. I think Joyner Lucas killed that shit. I just think, I, too. I just think it's not really a kill for him because it's I think that comes office. really easy for him. It's still a kill. Uh, not really. Because I could say the same. I don't want to talk about him too soon. Go ahead. Finish what you're saying. Not, but that, that's, that's all I'm saying. Joyner, I, Joyner does this dual perspective shit pretty well. He does yeah. this get you to feel one Both side. Sides, yeah, yeah. He, he he does that really, really, really well. It's and a skill in that. One, 100%. It's a, it's a skill in that. 100%. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm watching Joyner to see how he takes his, his uh, gumbo of gifts and elevates. Mm-hmm. I guess that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But it's, I mean, I like okay, Rihanna, I Rihanna replaying uh, Rihanna reposting a video that didn't shock me because every time he comes out with like one of these it's it's like powerful like that mm-hmm. yeah like when he did the, the black and white shit he's, he's, just done, he's just done this a few times so yeah. I'm waiting to see when he's gonna do it or when he's gonna take something from it and shift or you know what I mean mm-hmm. kind of the same way niggas was watching Dave for a little while false parallel but watching uh Dave when he first came out saying okay I see what he's got in his bag let me see what he does with it mm-hmm. that's how I feel about joining right now okay but he did kill that. Yeah. He did kill that. Yeah, I agree. Is there any signs of like a Joyner album? He put out a, well, it was, I don't know if it was a mixtape or album. You can't tell the difference I don't anymore. think that was an album. No? 
Anything that's retail to me is album. No, yeah, the, that most recent one, and I listened to it hoping that it wasn't going to be a bunch of the comparison shit, and it wasn't. It was yeah, good no. music. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's not... Solid. When people do say that about Joyner, that's not the only thing he can do. I can see if you not like what he does, but... Right. That's not the only thing he does. He yeah. makes records. Yeah, he does. Well, yeah, no. Well, a lot of people say that's all he can do, so... Because casual fans are only watching what they see casually. Mm. Yeah. They're not like keeping up with your every move. They didn't hear the Chris Brown feature. Right. You know, they didn't get all that. Chris, Chris Brown took that too. Drake got a record coming up. That snippet. Yeah, I put the too. phone really close to my ear to see see what I could conjure up. <laughs> you want to play it? <laughs> play it. I mean, let's see if I can conjure something different today. Nope, still sounds bad. <laughs> nah, that shit sound hard. Fuck you. You. Nah, that shit sound hard. Like I didn't learn much. They gonna twerk all summer to that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna twerk all summer. You. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. I'm single, nigga. <laughs> you okay? He's back. Mo, you gonna, shut the you fuck gonna, up. You gonna cry all summer when that record comes on? This nigga be crying on mad, un- <laughs> mad unbothered. Like, about you him. sweating? No, nigga, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this nigga Joe is great, man. Yeah, yo, in a in a month or two, this podcast is gonna be good, great. <laughs> That's all I can say. Right now we're a little low, but a month or two we're gonna talk about some shit. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fucking around, but I yeah, I'm gonna twerk to that. <laughs> no, I don't listen. It that, has that, 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 that feel. That, that song sounds great. Yeah, uh, I've been waiting on a Drake and Chris, uh, Drake and Chris, Drake and Chris feature for probably ten years. Yeah, yeah is that is that this ver- this era is like Nas and Jay? Was that Black Republican that was just playing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> going going bad was Black Republicans for sure. Yeah. I can see that for sure. That's why I like the summertime because everybody that's putting the album out got to like tease it somehow. Like, like hey, just, I'm making music. Yeah, you can't just put an album out in the summertime. You better let us know. Get us excited somehow. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of Chris' album coming? Vertigo? I have no idea. See, that's exciting. <laughs> Why is that, that exciting? Because what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he, he's dizzy. Clearly. What are you? <laughs> he's dizzy. <laughs> is that like Fear of Heights or something? <laughs> Wait. Ver- no, Vertigo is like your equilibrium is off. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at more. Oh, indigo. indigo. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, oh indi- uh, What's the name of it? Indigo. That's, indigo. A, col- that's a color. Isn't that a town in California? All right. Uh, isn't All right. that like a strain of weed? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't you I mean, worry. he is Michael Jackson and Tupac. That was funny. Fuck y'all, man. Y'all didn't laugh hard at that. A strain of weed. <laughs> no, but somebody... See where you took us there. Somebody got to come through. <laughs> if you're playing something. Oh, no. Go ahead and talk. Somebody got to come through with something, because I went to Bryce and Tiller's Instagram and was disgusted about how in love this gentleman is <laughs> for this next album. You know what the love album from, no. from Bryson? Who is, is who's his uh who's She's she looks beautiful, they look in love, they look happy. It's he looks like his, his life is amazing. Is, is it his child's Kendra? mother or no? No, I'm talking about Bryson Tiller. And Kendra, no. Oh, I thought you said Kendrick. No, Kendra. Oh, I don't know. I don't be knowing people. <laughs> who's his girlfriend? Kendra, that, apparently. I, Kendra, Kendra, yeah. I hate that I even who, just asked that question. I don't give a fuck Kendra. who Bryson's I don't know who you talking. about. I know, but that's, I thought Rory knew Kendra too. But I know about seventy five Kendras. Uh, you just saying Kendra don't mean nothing with Kendra. to me. It's Kendra is with Bryson. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, congrats to Bryson and Kendra. Nah, either way, but I just been, to but I'm only shocked that Rory saying this because he's he's been with her. So it's like, oh, well, I just recently saw a picture because I've been keeping up with Kendra and Bryson. What's their couple name? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we talked about K- Kendrick K-Bro. Bryson three years ago, privately, me and you. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swore you knew Kendra. Like, we talked about this. For no, real? No he, got, he must have broke up with Kendra. <laughs> Let me check and see what's going on. <laughs> no, nah, I, don't, I don't know if I want a relationship, Bryson. I kind of like that, yeah, I was a real piece of shit, but how dare you go talk to another guy mm. after I cheated on you? Like, that's the type of vibes I need with some Boy Wonder Beats. <laughs> I don't want, I want to hear from Kendra. Yeah, it's Kendra still. Oh, look at Kendra. See, niggas in love. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for a Bryson Tiller album. Uh, listen, niggas got to sneak their little albums in in the summertime. Once October coming, it's Halloween again. I don't want to hear from y'all. Y'all better sneak it all out now. Uh, oh, y'all want to hear this? Uh... <laughs> Come on, play, goddammit. 
Parks Wi Fi. Hey, hey. Uh. It's a brand new freestyle. Hey. Haiti baby. I'm not fucking with Haiti baby. Did you hear this though? No. Fam, we don't want to hear none about where you was raised and all that. Just get to the bars. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. relax. Hey, hey, hold up. Haiti baby going to shoot up this whole podcast. <laughs> hey, hold up now. See, this is why it's tough to be a rapper nowadays. Get your shit off, Haiti baby. Mike, check, Mike, check. Oh no, I did see this. <laughs> I was kind of feeling it though. <laughs> Me too, a little bit. <laughs> Everybody was hating on it. I thought it was just alright. The, with the right beat, that shit gonna go. He saw a beat. I'm not bad. <laughs> he killing, he killing his own echo. <laughs> Hey. This nigga rhyme like <laughs> <laughs> this nigga rhyme like the cord ain't plugged all the way in. <laughs> hey, hey, I feel him. <laughs> See, he might have lost me with that falsetto. All he went viral. All right, now he got our attention. He's he gonna, gonna, drop some, he gonna drop some heat now. <laughs> Watch, he gonna drop some heat. <laughs> This is why I could I couldn't be a new rapper, and I got to go to the radio station and kick my shit that's just designed for beats. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's no, no, echo? No, nigga, put on the beat that I wrote this song to. <laughs> I have the instrumental with me. Yeah, don't don't put on what we do is wrong <laughs> for, for this shit, right? It's right on YouTube anyway. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, all my sh- work like in the beat. <laughs> oh, all right. Let me see what else is going on in the universe. Uh, let's see, Aisha Curry, uh, Drake Chris, uh, Matt Gala, uh, the Kentucky Derby is fucking rigged, and I'm angry about it, like, I placed money down, but it's fine. The Kentucky Derby is rigged. Yeah. Everything you guys is rigged. Go, Everything is rigged. You guys want to go to Belmont as a family? No, I'm not, not going really. to Belmont as a family, but I think that's really fucked up what they did to that horse that won, but because he jumped over a puddle and kicked a puddle in the other horse's faces, he didn't win. So now it's a $9 million swing to the 17th ranked horse that ended yeah, up that's... winning. If you get the Wait, fuck that's out. a thing? No, this happened. When the horse does it? Yeah, the horse cheated. Well, they say the horse the horse, the fuck out a horse knows how to cheat. That's that's the bigger play. This will get him. Like, yeah, the horse, horse that's blindfolded. Yeah. Word. Well, they say that the the man. Wait, is hold on. They the mad horse. at a blindfolded horse for stepping in a puddle? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why did they get the puddle off the track? No, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> but the track was mad, nasty, and sloppy, and muddy, and wet. Like, I guess it's got to be a rain or shine event, huh? No, the Kentucky Derby will go on, period. Listen, yeah. I don't know nothing about the Kentucky Derby. All I know is some of these establishments that I think is rigged, but I don't really have enough information. Every time I think something, Trump chimes in. <laughs> He's just in time. Like, Trump why is Trump chiming Trump in is, about He's the definitely Kentucky in the Derby? horse races. King chiming. Oh, yeah. And why is Tom Brady at the Kentucky Derby? Because He's Trump's definitely there. in the horse Tom races. Brady All of the people that I, that I think are a little shady... Fuck with horse be involved races. in the shit that I think is like a little shady. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of money at the Kentucky Derby. Oh no, I know. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, you think nine million swing is a lot for them? Yeah. That's pennies. Someone lost ten million that night. On like, a humble. They woke, up, they woke up with Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Let me lose ten million on a horse. <laughs> Talking about you jumped the puddle, yeah, nigga. They woke up with Elvis. <laughs> yeah. For real. So we're not going to Belmont as a family. I mean, I'm, I'm, I would love to. I would go to Derby We're not going day. to Belmont as a family. Uh, let's see. Pod, wait wait till they announce the festival around it. Y'all gonna go? <laughs> uh, did y'all hear about the new Sandra Bland footage that was released? The new old Sandra Bland footage. I did. Yeah, her, yeah, her camera phone footage yeah. was released. Yeah, I watched a little bit or whatever they gave us. Uh, I don't release. I feel a way about shit like that. What you mean? Like when shit like that is released to us, like I feel like they're digging up old wounds that we're almost like sort of kind of healing from. And I just feel like, why would you put that footage out today? Well, I actually like, think we don't it, need to see that. Like, are y'all taking the 
Uh, is, is everyone getting arrested? Are, are, are officers being found guilty? No, then don't show me the footage from her phone in 2019. Mm. Well, I think it, it sparked from her family reopening the case because they got that evidence. I'm with you, though. I but we saw, see we saw all of that already from the police officer no, dash cam. I can't, I can't stand them all. What do you mean? We saw all of this. We just seen it. We seen it from a different angle. The family is arguing that some evidence or information has to have been suppressed because they didn't know about it. So now some other company that's working on a Sandra Bland doc okay. got fought for this footage and got it released somehow. I didn't see anything so what the new fam- on this so what footage the family- that I didn't see already. Well, well, I agree with you. Um, I don't think it was a matter of something new being shared because if we watch the old footage we can see that Sandra Bland was recording her arrest with her phone Absolutely. Yeah. so we saw that part I think it's the fact that this information was suppressed that the shit. video was suppressed so if uh, if you're thinking that way you're thinking well what else is suppressed what other information do we not have what else did you keep to yourself for however many years well, I think we, that's the thinking we knew that she was recording we could see that in the, the dash cam footage mm-hmm. we, we could see that she says it she says I'm recording you, right? But my thing is like, you know, I'm just seeing that. Here's a woman that was, you know, mysteriously killed while in custody. And, you know, some people have healed from it. Some people are still healing the family. I'm pretty sure it's still going through a lot. But it's like seeing that footage and seeing her alive again from her phone. and It just brings all of these feelings back up. And it's just like, you know, I feel like they it's, it's, a, it's a method to the shit that they do. And it's like, do they want black people just to be angry forever? Like, do they want us to just be, you know, feel some type of way about dealing with the police forever? Like, it's like, I get it. But it's like, unless that footage showed me something that we hadn't seen. Like, now, if it's showing that some of the police officers footage was edited, then I can understand that. But it's like, there was no footage on this that we haven't heard. No audio that we haven't heard. Yeah. And no footage that we hadn't seen. So it's kind of like. I mean, again, the family is entitled to do whatever they want. I'm not saying what the family should or shouldn't do. But I just hate seeing shit like that because, to me, I'm looking at a woman that is dead and knowing that she was killed in police custody. And it just brings up a lot of old, like, you know, feelings and emotions that I try not to think about. Yeah, but uh, you wouldn't want all the information uh, that there is to be released to be released? In oh, a, yeah, in no. A, if in it's information like that this, was, is, like I said. it. You feel the, like this, is, uh, this isn't helpful at all? I don't. I mean, I didn't. I didn't learn anything else from the from the uh, interaction with the police officer from Neither her did footage I, from a phone. But if it could lead to a, a further investigation or some things. Oh, if it leads to further investigations, then yeah, I'm all for it. I, Got it. I, that's why I said, I let me know when the officers are being tried again, and when they're being, mm-hmm. you know, found guilty, and then that's when I, I want to see that footage. But I don't want to see any more her point of view in which she recorded. Because it's just like, here's a woman that was ultimately killed in police custody and no, everybody's acting like she killed herself. Like, no, I'm just not happy with seeing that footage from my phone. I, I just don't want to see that. Yeah, I'm with you. It was difficult to watch. Yeah. Um, I didn't finish it. I'm all too familiar with the facts of that case. Uh, and I certainly would like to see justice because I do believe that she was murdered. Oh, absolutely. Agreed. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't yeah. left that. Absolutely. And her yeah. along with a few other people. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Which is why I said, show me the footage Footage of that. Yeah, I, I still think they brought up that mugshot when I was watching the whole little thing they had running on it. That I still stand. That mugshot looks like a dead woman. Like, that's how sick this case is. I'll be honest, man. I can't it's imagine. It's like a dead woman laying on the ground and they took a picture. But, like, for making a U turn, like, that's the stuff I can't imagine. Like just making a uh, tail light was out. Tail light was out. I made a U turn. Failed a signal, whatever it was. Whatever the fuck. It's a, it's, a, it's a ticket, right? It's not an arrest. It's a ticket. That's all of that. That's yeah. all that warrants is a ticket. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't signal when I turned. Okay, give me the ticket. Right. Simple. Why you got your taser at me? Why are you dragging me out of my car? Why am I being forced to get out my like because of a traffic in in in, in like. I fucked up. Fair. I didn't signal. Like it, life happens. Life yeah, happens. Yeah, like an animal, animal Fast. woman at that. Right. You felt like you couldn't handle a woman. Right. As an officer, you felt like you had to be that aggressive and put a tase in her face. Like, come on, man. I mean, listen, man. Life happens quickly. That's why you know we making all these breakup jokes, right? But I wake up early and I watch the news and I saw a story this morning about, uh, and this was in Queens, I think, on Baisley, about. Uh, a gentleman and his ex in a custody battle and he took the daughter three years old Mm. she's in a car 
he he tied he strapped the car up the the he put chains around the door handles uh, and it was a propane tank in the trunk Jesus and the car burnt on fire and the girl the three year old girl was brutally burned uh, she died Jesus. and they found him in the water uh, trying to get fire off of him and when they did more research they learned that you know it was a custody battle mm-hmm. uh, this was his second time being trusted with with the daughter, he was beefing with the mom. He said, yo, this would be your last time seeing her ever again before he took her. Like, wild, wild, sick shit going on. So I say that to say, life happens instantaneously. Like, it happens quickly. Uh, and you never fucking know. You never fucking know. That's why I try to find the gratitude and everything. Uh, no, that's, that's it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh man, I mean, that's super Rest sad. Yeah, no, but do y'all watch the news in the morning? Uh, no, no, I don't. Or period, no, 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 right? Sometimes no, at night. I, don't, I, don't I, I used to watch news. the local news, but it, like just like that case, I feel like it's just sad shit after sad shit after sad. I'm not really being informed. I'm just yeah. being informed of really horrible things. Well, you're being happening. you're being informed of the horrible things because it's their job to keep us afraid. Well, of course. Right. And then I don't watch the real nightly news because I think everyone's full of shit. Like when Donald Trump says fake news, I agree with him for everything. <laughs> from right. Fox, CNN, I think they're all full of shit. Right. So I, I can't inform myself. I used to like Vice News a lot, but it, I kind of stopped. I do, I do it. BBC sometimes because I think they have more of an unbiased view because it is worldly news and yeah. it's not just directly what's being fed by whatever corporation is funding that news. I like spot. John Oliver, but, even though it's not directly news. But yeah, I laugh at John Oliver, but I think he's biased. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think they're all biased. Absolutely. <laughs> like on the news this morning, uh. Remember the kid Junior that they killed? Uh, that they killed? Yeah. They stabbed up in the bodega. Yeah. So that trial is underway now. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching news this morning. I'm already sad as could fucking be in my lonely ass house with my dog, and the news is saying, "Yeah, the trial is underway for Junior X Y Z." Uh, the gang, uh, the, all of the family was in the court, and the gang members turned around and stared at the family to get a good look at their faces, and all they did was smile at the families of the deceased. I was like, "Wait, huh?" <laughs> As if, as if, as if that footage wasn't horrific enough that we all had to see, mm. and we all had to grieve over that one. Now you niggas is in the court just smiling at the family. Like I don't know what type of what type of heartlessness that involves. <laughs> I think it's a uh, uh, like that 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 will sadden even the happiest of people. Yeah, but I think that's a, a you know. A, a tactic that they're trying to do to show that they're not scared of what's coming, whatever sentence is coming. But it gets very real once that sentence is handed down and, you know, you're behind those walls. Yeah. Like, it's going to get very real. They, they won't I mean, be I smiling. Think I, I think they know what's coming. Yeah. And it, that's just a... But that whole situation, man, even that, like, you know, bringing that back up, that, that shit, that yeah. was just crazy, man. That whole situation is just, like, totally fucked up, man. And not just a life sentence. I think they know what's coming in jail. Oh, They're yeah, not yeah. going to be the most popular people. No, but there was reports when they first was locked up that, uh, you know, a lot of them were, were being threatened and, mm. you know, being being beaten up and shit like that. Because this is one of those things where, you know, even inmates, like sometimes just like certain shit is just like, you know, a, a lot of the the, uh, the older gang members were saying, you know, because they were trying to say it was a gang thing, and, and, and guys that were involved in this gang was like, that's not how we get down. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't move like that. Like, that shit that they did, that was some shit that, you know, don't put that behind no gang shit. Mm-hmm. Like, that was something that these individuals felt like doing, and, and they committed that. Like, but the gang, we don't we don't support that. And I feel like there's more of those type of men behind those walls that feel the same way. They have niece, they have nephews, they have, you know, sons, and they have little brothers. And, you know, that shit affects you. Like, that could have been any one of, you know, any of you from the uptown area, that could have been any one of your, your relatives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's, you know, it's just unfortunate, man, that young boys out here is running around doing shit like that. Like, especially with all the opportunities. Like, I, I keep saying, like, I don't see how uh, young kids are bored in right. 2019. You have you literally have the world in your palm, like literally, like it, you know, coming growing up in the eighties and the nineties, it was different. We had to create our fun yeah. within our own little you know neighborhoods and shit like that. Now you have access to the world in your palm. Like, how are you bored in in twenty nineteen? I just don't understand that. I don't get it. I don't understand how you're outside just running around doing knucklehead shit in twenty nineteen. I don't get it. Like you can travel the world cheap, right? 
You know what I mean? Uh, you can do a lot of things. Like you can go to different schools and you can create your own businesses and sell your little t shirts or clothing and create it's music just, easily. Yeah, whatever, it's yeah. like how are you bored in this era? Just, like I just don't understand that shit. Man, I was bored just before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, your heart broke. I was bored moment, yesterday. So yeah, yeah, that's it's different. It's different. Trying to learn to be alone. Yeah, yeah. It's different. You're going through something. It's different. <laughs> Yo, every time I say that word, just look over. <laughs> I, I stand with you. All right, good. Stand with me, God damn it. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll, we'll do like a, a cheer up party at the crib on Saturday. Oh, yeah. please, please, please. <laughs> Let's no, do it. I don't want to see Bring you some of your favorite foods. <laughs> <laughs> what are my favorite foods? Steak. I don't know yet. I mean, either. Steak, I have to steak, learn myself. Mad stick, mad pork, red meat. <laughs> yeah. we'll bring a whole counter, nothing buddy. Nothing green. Chicken and cheese dip. You know, you do you got it. Got it, got it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. The dudes get the breakup party. Do girls have a breakup party? Uh, what? <laughs> what do they do? They have a whole week. Go on vacation with a new nigga. Mm. <laughs> I think that's the wrong way to go about. They talk wild a, a, shit about a breakup you party. Friends. They get drunk. You know, like that's the problem. They're fucking like, away the pain. They watch Sex in the City. You don't subscribe to that? Yeah, no, no. People, people need to take time to fucking chill out <laughs> and learn about themselves. Decompress. Figure yourself out. Nah, don't just, just fuck through it, man. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally against that. You, you, you can't don't fuck condom, get to it. You can't fuck through that. How you know? <laughs> <laughs> we joking around, uh, right? But this, uh, and we never talk about Wendy Williams here, just because it's not that type of podcast. But with all that's going on between her and her husband, or ex husband, or ex-husband to be Kevin Kevin Hunter with all of the the legal issues the settlement issues the his name is intertwined in all of her business dealings uh the side mistress baby uh it's a lot going on over there it really makes you uh take a step back and just be grateful that you're not there uh for me anyway uh breakups go totally different when you're married Oh hell so, yeah! So, so to watch how that's playing out, um, to watch what Jesse Williams is experiencing, uh, shit, even Jennifer Hudson, all of the people that are married trying to separate. Like I said on the last podcast, that love is expensive, but shit, marriage is expensive. <laughs> yep, not love. Ten million dollars is the rumored settlement between Wendy Williams and her husband Kevin Hunter. When yep. he got that, see, marriage, cost of that. <laughs> First of all, to everyone that that was killing me for the last podcast, though this situation is a bit different because I said if y'all do business together, y'all can figure out your business. I still don't think she owes him alimony after that. Finish out, finish your business shit, and then he can figure out his own life. That's not Wendy's responsibility. Mine wasn't gender specific. Agreed. Go figure your shit out. We're not married. Agreed. <laughs> He's used to certain yeah. things, Roy. He's uh, he has a lifestyle. That's it. And it is side bitches. So does that mean that Wendy owes him side bitches? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shit. Sure. That was his That's lifestyle. That, that was his lifestyle during their marriage, no? Yeah. Hook me up with some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're Hook not me together. up with some bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want right. 10 million and some bitches. Tell, 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 him ju- tell him to judge that. Yes. Yo, I want 10 wait. million and some bitches. Wait. I want a new bitch every I've been trying to have mature conversations. No, Wally. Nah. Every month, no, I want a new Wally bitch. And <laughs> That's your settlement? Yeah. 10 million and a new chick every month. You are a sicko. <laughs> Listen, it's, that was my lifestyle. I was that cheating was, the whole yeah, time right? we married. Nah, stand, stand on what you stood on yeah. uh, in Tampa. I ain't That's never stand on that. That was his lifestyle. What? Side bitches. He was cheating. Well, he was cheating, but when did I stand on that being... The lifestyle bag. That's your shit. I think you that's gotta important. Main, you have to maintain your partner's uh, lifestyle when they make less money than you for some uh, weird reason. Okay, I get that it. That was their lifestyle. It. I get it. I see, where, I see where you're going there. No, I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm not Hi- with that. Hypocrite. I totally disagree with that. But I do think <laughs> that lifestyles need to match in order for the couple to kind of match. So... His name being intertwined in all, all of her business while they were in love and happily married and roaming the country and creating shows and doing radio shit. Cool. I understand that part. But this, the the unsettling, the unraveling of it all, mm-hmm. it, just, it just gets messy. It just gets really, really messy. What, uh, what unraveling? For it being in the public or 
just everything. What I'm that's saying happened. is, and I, I want to try to have some of these conversations without divulging too much of my own personal information, and I'm probably failing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, well, shit, y'all are engaged, and y'all are going fucking going through like marital type of shit. Mm-hmm. If tomorrow your partner decided to end it. Yeah. And the only way for you guys to amicably, amicably end things was through a litigator. No mm. matter how you felt about the relationship, you would feel a way. What, feel a way about what specifically? Bring somebody having to in? separate through a litigator. Yeah. Uh, having to separate through a lawyer. Having to separate through a judge. Having but, to separate. Mm-hmm. Having to separate through anybody that's not your actual. But, but, it, it, but it's because of, of that, it's because of it's because you're married, and when you get married, you it's have these things. You have a, it's a contract. You have to have it signed. You have to have a, you know uh, someone that knows the law has to has to preside over the the the, the, the ceremony. You know what I mean? So naturally, when we want to break that, you have to have those same people present. And then if you have a lot to lose financially, you have to get a lawyer involved. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. like, but that's what I'm saying. Marriage is nothing but a business agreement. Between two yeah, parties, you're, you're bringing the government into your love. Because if you don't, if you love somebody, I don't need to say it in front of this judge or get this paper notarized, like to prove my love to you. I don't need that. Like we got to get to the root of when, when. When did marriage start? Like when did that type of marriage start? What year was that? Like who was the first nigga to get married? I'd imagine whenever church and state were together, and then. They separated them, but that law still stayed. Again, I but that's what I'm saying. A lot nothing, of we, we just really follow just behind a lot of old there. things that were put into place so many years ago. The world has changed. Like things have changed. Hmm. It ain't changed that much. Where you could have a fucking side baby and be the executive producer on my TV show. <laughs> you get the fuck out of here, Kevin. Oh yeah, no. Sorry, I, I, sorry, buddy. I, I agree with that, but I'm just talking about as far as the laws of the marriage. Like things need to, you know, certain things that they just need to. We need a revised version of the contract and getting married. We need a, we need an edited, an updated version of it. Like you know, you got to update your phone every six months. We need to update <laughs> marriage licenses every yeah. six, like an iPhone. Let's do what's, that. what's the new OS on marriage? Yeah, I need the new, <laughs> the new iOS or whatever it's fucking called that I keep saying. Remind me later too. <laughs> For what? Like you plan on getting married at some point? I do plan on getting married. Really. Not no time soon, no brother. I'm with you, bro. Single boys. Nah, I don't want none of that. <laughs> juice. Yo, I don't want none of that. Yo, I don't want none of that depression. That depression. Don't get that depression juice on me, man. Depression juice. <laughs> that depression juice. Oh come on, I don't, want, I don't want to be depressed, bro. All right, fine. The weather's breaking. <laughs> well, this is a good time to like transition into singleness. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Great time. Great time. Yeah, it's growth of spring. Yeah, you got time. Yeah, May and June, you could be sad and depressed. By July. No, you got to get out in these streets. Not even June, really. Better have your chest out, man. <laughs> by June 15th, to you got to be... that lonely house. Yeah, you got to be... By June 15th, you're supposed to be on your shit. I know, and then it's like all the things that you didn't pay too much mind to before, like big things now, like this torn rotator cuff I keep talking about now that you're single. It's like... Yeah, it hurts more. It's different. Well, when your heart is broken, everything is broken, Joe. That was deep. You know what, man? I got a trick for you, nigga. <laughs> that, was, that was real deep. <laughs> Real, real deep. <laughs> hey, niggas be heartbroken. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now nah, you care. Nigga, Joe be in Don't try to get the bar off. Nigga, yeah. Joe be in the house dancing to this shit by himself. Now. <laughs> Smoking in Newport. Smoking Two step in Newport. In. <laughs> nah, you care. He be crying. He just yeah. crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Singing in the mirror, trying to convince go to the himself. Dog you park. don't care. <laughs> Let's go to the dog park. <laughs> the dog. Brooklyn. I heard that's where they be Brooklyn would destroy the dog park. <laughs> You could oh. never bring Brooklyn to a dog park. <laughs> That's what you got to do, man. Go to the dog park? Yeah. Let's talk about Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I how think about, so. How about that? You guys are going to Which is fucked up because, you know, we could do a whole four-hour podcast on breakups. Absolutely. On breakups oh, yeah. alone. Oh, we're not but, done with this. We'll somehow, be back Saturday. No, right, right this second, just not, not the greatest time. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to let you mourn a little bit, then we're going to get in the stages. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. man. We're, we're going to check in with you, we're we're check in with you every yeah, episode. Yeah, more fucking brought up that I'm sad on tour. It's not yeah. right. I mean, I had to, what you want me to do? When my guy was sad on tour, but I couldn't, I had to let you go through I it. I thought I was doing a great job until fucking... Parks and Rory fucking had the fiance bowl. No, 
<laughs> and it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, no. I'm was, supposed to be a part of this. I was looking at Joe. I was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad this is the end of uh, end of the tour. But I did good on I did good uh, on stage though, right? Uh, the the first you three were shows became yeah. the B Mike. The first three shows, yeah. The last show, you was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Orlando, you was a piece of shit. Yeah, you went, be you went in there, Orlando. Yeah. It started with the show before that. I was like, all right, and then it was like. You couldn't hold it in, so you had to kind of talk about it. When once you had to talk about it, I was like, "Yeah, he's fucked up." Nah, so when Sam yeah, pulled me, like when that. Sam pulled me aside when we were all backstage between the meet and greet and the show, I was like, "Is it always this quiet in the green room before no. the show?" It's <laughs> like, "Nah, I'm just got let my man mourn a little bit." Yeah. Well, that's why I be feeling bad because I do know that my like my energy is like yeah. you know that's important. But you didn't yeah. notice that I was very hardly in the dressing room in Orlando. You're never Everyone in the dressing moving. room really. That's, well, true. you're never I'm really. always in the dressing room I don't really ever see you In the dressing room I was in the you dressing room In Atlanta mean. the whole time I was in the dressing room in Well I, we were all in the dress, In the green room in Atlanta Yeah I mean forget But it. I, the whole time <laughs> Orlando I was nah, like, There was a reason like, to God, be in sad. The, you, Once you went to room. sleep I was in there a little bit Like once you were asleep Then you go like Smoke your cig I go in there But as soon as you came back I was like alright I'm out can't be around this shit. Maul's man. the worst guy in the world. I'm the greatest guy. I let you. I let you be depressed, but now I got to talk my shit. You know that there, there are stages of breakups. Yes, but, but I'm gonna remain the good friend for you. This is not a good this. friend. This is a great friend. This is a I'm horrible a, friend. I'm a great friend. Man. You want to cry on? No, I don't he's cry. crying. He's wearing a pink weekend. jacket. Since he's cried since we've been. It's back. a raincoat. You'll be safe. Sure. Yeah, you, yo, you didn't even dress for his breakup. That's crazy. Nah, pink is like a new beginning. I got black. Ah, okay. I got black. Y'all joking, but I was faced with so many conflictions coming into this podcast, right? Like, I was faced with the whole uh, people's real lives and feelings involved, so you don't want to talk about that stuff. And it's like, damn, I can't say that. I talk shit about people every week. <laughs> <laughs> I love when people's real feelings are involved. Right, well, so no, no, this I can only come in here and give I, you some I, of that shit, too. I love when fucking real unions break up. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is why this ties into the Wendy Williams shit, because I was sitting there kind of like, mm, kind of glad this is happening in public. Mm-hmm. You've only been doing this for 30 years to everyone else. Right. Yeah, sit there with your substance problem and your breakup and your divorce and, and the side chick and the baby. Yeah. yeah, sit there and be happy. Yeah. <laughs> See, but that's why I was on the other side of that Wendy Williams thing. Because just because that's her job, like her job is to get on the microphone and, you know, and it's tough to hide things from a microphone when that's your job. Just because she does that, why does that mean that she shouldn't be allowed to actually experience things in her real life? No, you're allowed no, to. Yeah, well, that's but not what the I'm thing is, now now it's your turn in that seat. Yeah. You have to take what you've been dishing about people all of this time. And that's why so many people are like, ah, oh, see, now you're not. And I don't think you do that at all to people. Like, I think you've laughed sometimes, but you don't be going in the way Wendy Williams or like exposing things like the way she did with Method Man's wife with cancer. Like, you don't yeah. be doing that shit. So, yes, a little, I think a little of this Wendy shit is karma. Just a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's all. For sure. We all have karma we have to face one day. Oh, yeah, all of us. Not True just indeed. Wendy Williams. <laughs> but True indeed. Women heathen in my text. <sighs> hey, here you're single. Get out of here. I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't start with a heard you're single line. Yeah, what are you talking about, you <laughs> nasty whore? Yo, when women have to use pickup lines, they're so bad at them. Like, when women have to start the conversation, <laughs> they're so terrible. It's bad true. at it. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm sick of women now. when they say, oh, the men got bad game. You try it. It's word. Try it out. <laughs> but women will tell you they don't have game quicker than a man would. Like I think it's no, a but they'll thing shit on a man not having game like they could have any to begin with. Well, that's no. Why I know I, some women with game now. I, I do too, but up. a majority of them don't because they never had to have it. Well, that's why I do like Parks' theory, even though this is a bad time for me to like it and a bad time for me to snitch on this is Parks' theory. But Parks' theory on how why men have to flirt mm. because like careful who, flirt, who flirts with us? Nobody. Nobody, Nobody really. flirts with men. No. Not at all. Like women just go on about their casual day ordering Starbucks and get flirted with. Yeah. Yeah. No, women flirt. It's just the way they do it. Like women. That's what Aisha Curry was beefing about. She's saying, fam, I'm a beautiful, light skinned woman. I should be being flirted with. But I'm not because this nigga can hit a three. (laughs) Yeah, and he makes 70 million a year. Yeah, parts important. Niggas ain't flirting with a chick whose husband makes seventy million. Like, come on, man, what the fuck? I'm bringing to the table. This nigga bringing seventy. This nigga bringing seventy m's to the table. Like, come on, man. She ain't giving me no time of day. Like, niggas ain't gonna flirt if they feel like the flirt ain't gonna work a little bit. Like, niggas ain't flirting with Aisha because they feel like it ain't gonna work. Now you know why that's funny because I, I disagree with you. I feel like 
niggas don't respect the 70 mil, but 70 mil and a 40 foot J? No, niggas. You can hit it from 40. Like, when niggas respect your nigga, like, come on, man. I can't flirt with you, man. Nigga make 70 mil. You got to respect that man. Hit it from half court, man. I have his jersey. <laughs> yeah, you can't flirt with a chick, and, and you, you got have the her. Jersey. You have her husband on your fantasy team. That just doesn't. Yeah, man. I don't see how that works. Nah, out. man, women's game Wear is horrible. The shoes. Their yeah, yeah, game not is steps, but you know, you someone else. I threw out that whole Parks theory about flirting, and he ain't say a word. No, no, no. That's what I'm <laughs> he trying, didn't I'm back trying it to up. Keep up with yeah. Yeah, no. well, We've been talking about that topic got... for fucking weeks on here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as soon as I bring it up no. on the mic, huh? Yeah, no. That's got why it, got I got it. I got murdered. Whatever, maybe it was last year. Whatever. When I I had my hot take that men are more interesting than women, just off that point, because we're forced to be. We have no choice. We have mm. to learn a bunch of things just for the the concept of life to continue. Yeah, we can't really women just sit are, here and look pretty. Of course, this is just generalized. Everyone relax. We're having fun on the podcast. We have to go out there and <laughs> and fucking hunt. And become have characteristics, be funny and dance and have theories and well, like women are just there. See, and that's what I'm saying. My next chick, I'm not doing none of that. She just gotta accept me. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't look good. <laughs> you think that you think that men have to be more interested than women? One hundred percent. Yes. One hundred percent. Definitely. They have to be. 100%. This is generalization. Well, when you, um, we just yeah. Yeah. But so what do you mean they have to be more in what ways do they have to be more interested? I mean when Men have to go out, and this is this is honestly more of a better look for women because they find attributes in men way more dope than we do because we're shallow. Mm -hmm. So if a chick is pretty, we'll go after that. But women want a man that's funny, interesting, has something to say, good looking, can put them on to new shit. Like we have to go out there, jumper. <laughs> yeah, like we have to go out there and learn how to do shit to impress women. We can't just show up like, hey, look at myself. That's not rocking with women. You can't just show up and be you unless you're fucking... Well, yeah, look at ourselves. Uh, I mean. Yeah, we're trash. Yeah, <laughs> like, we have great. to be interesting. That's our way of making the circle of life yeah, work. But I think women have to be interesting, too, though. Of they course. Do. I'm generalizing. No, no. But, Maul got standards. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> look, I at, do. look at Maul. I do. Ooh, it's spicy. Yeah, I <laughs> of course I got but standards. I, but I think if, if we're going off the generalization, <laughs> women can just show up and, and be beautiful and and a baby will happen. <laughs> Like, well, that's because you know niggas is just dogs by nature. Fam, <laughs> fam, you got to turn that shit off. Though. It's a classic you, did record. Did you ever ball. try to figure out what is love? No. <laughs> All right, forget it. But no, let's get it. Well, I don't know if we're at that stage yet of of you talking of about what that. What is love? No, uh -oh. of, of getting back out there and having to be interesting. We again. are not. We are not at that stage yet. Because that's an interesting conversation. I ain't trying to get back out in these streets till maybe Christmas. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Christmas, nigga. Yeah. Shh. What do you mean, shush? How yeah, long bro. you think it takes? Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta get off that bench sooner than that, bro. Now you know what I remember in this like breakup. I hate chicks. <laughs> I swear to God, I do. That's, see, that's what heartbreaker do to you. Word. <laughs> heartbreaker, how you hating fit women for no reason. I hate women. Yeah, the teller at the bank. Yeah. What has she done to the men yeah. in her life? <laughs> she asked me how many singles I wanted. I am single. Oh. <laughs> I'm all the single you need. <laughs> This it's nigga me joke. that you're counting in your hand. <laughs> this ain't even real of me. I am single. <laughs> Damn, Joe. Not Christmas, though. We got to get you back in the game sooner than that. Teslas. <laughs> Teslas. But wait, so, no, sooner than Christmas? Boy, wait, hold on. Yeah, time out for a minute. Come on, Are come you on, kidding man. me? Come on, come on. Christmas? Not out there, that's, out that's, there, but just how like, many months know, away is Christmas? Have a little bit of fun in the summer. No, Christmas way. is what six months away. Fam, I'm not having fun in the summer. I'm sad and going to sleep. Oh no, nah, you tripping? Yeah. I'm never sad in the summer. All it I takes am. is one sundress on Fordham Road for me, buddy, <laughs> and I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm all cool. is well in the world. See, but that's the other thing about being single. Like, you have to like frequent places that single people go. Oh. You don't have Fam, I'm not That's doing rough. That. I'm That's not, not true. I'm not no, no, rough. you might be able to catch like a third, a nice that. third wheel, and y'all be like, "Hey, we're both third wheels." You can wheels. go anywhere. You can go anywhere man, you can go to Whole Foods and at, run into no, a, with more. That's not realistic. At, at 38 years old, yeah. I have to rely on that. So I have a friend that you might be. That's lit. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, the have blind date, yeah, blind date with Joe. Yeah, for the love friend. of Joe, look at what it's come down to for me. For the love of Joe, have a friend. I got a friend, man. Yeah, have. I love when girls say, "I have a friend." No, no, girls are never because then you you never really know you're like okay who is she it's like suspenseful and then now in 2019 you can actually like see her like you can get the instagram like mm. let me see her gram 
Don't get the okay, gram. So no such thing as a blind date. Yeah, don't magazine. get the gram, man. She look good, and it yeah. says follow back, so she already <laughs> on you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We live, we live, we live. Y'all hear why you shouldn't shouldn't break up around niggas? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yo, look at the <laughs> scene right now. It's lit. She already had the I'm follow just back. In here talking to y'all about missing my family. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I get it. But following bitches so back. Christmas? No, man. Yeah, yeah, Christmas. You gotta Christmas. get off the Fourth of July. Yeah, I'm more weekend. Yeah, Fourth yeah, of July. Yeah. Hey, I was gonna say Memorial. Fireworks? Yeah, but you know, I'll give you girls more love time. fireworks. Yeah, Thanks, Fourth boss. of July sounds good. Fourth of July. Yeah, that's I'll give you time. a free ticket to Palooza for Memorial Day. Mm. So, uh, fam, I've already go. For, trust me. I've already played that scene in my head where Rory invites me to Palooza and then yeah. Sin is in there and now I have to leave. Why oh, do you no. have to leave? I'm not hanging out in a, my fucking party with my baby it's mom. Big ass venue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would make sure you just, gotta make, you just gotta out fun her. You just gotta make sure you have more fun than she is. But, but, uh, oh, wait, no, no, gonna do that. the ex battle at the party. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, oh, Joe lost. <laughs> wait, <laughs> Sid is way more fun than you. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Wait, if you are asking me to Sin look like I'm having more fun than Sin, <laughs> yeah, at a club or a party, yeah, Sin is a blast oh, to be around. Oh man, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla's. <laughs> yeah, y'all, both, y'all don't want to talk about Teslas. That could y'all be kind of the keep... moment, though. Funny, funny seeing you across the way. <laughs> and I'm the friend. That, and I'm the friend that invited uh, both of you yes. guys. Ooh, <laughs> I see what you're doing, Rory. Oh wait, now it's funny. It's funny that you said that, and I've said that a lot this podcast. But so this morning, while I was sad and crying, uh, and Ian was over. And we were talking about business, but it's hard to talk about business when niggas sad and crying. Mm. And Ian brought up a good point. He was like, hey, so <laughs> with this love and hip hop contract, how's this going to work? And I said, you know what, Ian? That's a good fucking question, man. I don't Are really you still to- in contract? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have a three-year contract <laughs> with Viacom. It's not even with Mona and them. Know what that means? Am I divulging too much? So uh, anyway, uh, so uh, Ian <laughs> says that. So I said, Ian, man, What's... that's a great fucking question. I don't think I gotta do that shit. Let me call. I'll call up uh, Mona. <laughs> she, la- I'm sure she <laughs> it was, it out it was the eight, highest laugh. But it was eight thirty in the morning. That's why this is funny. At eight thirty in the morning, Ian is at my house, and I'm calling Mona, and she picks up, and I say, Hey, good morning, Mona. <laughs> she said, was waiting for this call. So it's funny, I was going to call you yesterday, Joe. You don't say. <laughs> I said, uh, got a question, man. Uh, I know I'm still on the contract for next year, but with this whole breakup thing, how's that going to oh, go? You, you, know, you never seen Love they, and Hip Hop. They maxed out the deal. <laughs> <laughs> they extended you and you didn't even know. Yeah. Three, yeah, three they, years, Joe. No, they, we got seven no, no. on here. You got the yeah. super max. Yeah. yeah, they picked up the options. Yeah, so clearly you don't know how I got the hip hop. I got goes. the love and hip hop 360. Yeah, they got the next two years written out already. I buddy. said that shit to Mona and she, she act like a steak had just appeared. Yeah. Like I could hear drool coming from her mouth. Like, oh, <laughs> the breakup is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, nigga. <didn't you? laughs> She, like, but she was trying to she was trying to console me, but she was happy still. Shit, Mona like, hung oh, up with you, and you know, you know, who I'm she praying for both of you. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. No, she said I'm praying on both of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I say that I, I say that to say I don't know how loving hip hop is about to go this season. No, you know how it's going uh, to the people who have been adding me. None of this is a publicity stunt. Uh, I thought this was my out. All, <laughs> no. all right, Mariah Lynn's gonna be your. Your comeback. You know who we going to. The first person they're sending Joe on lunch with. <laughs> but I'm confused by how it's going to go because w- without Sin there, who I'm not talking to none of you niggas. I just told yeah, you, Mariah I'm, oh, I'm only here because Sin put me here. Okay, that's what you think. Who am I talking to? Shit, yeah, you know Mona. She pulled up the old phone. She got them old numbers. She got them old numbers. Like so. Yeah, uh, let's, see if this, let's see if this text goes green. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Joe is newly single and, uh, you know, I want to see if you were free for lunch next week. I'm not a fun single guy. That's what it is. How will you know that? You're never single. I've been single before. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. You're single for a week. It don't be a fun week. This nigga be single for two weeks. There ain't that many fucking hookah flavors out there. That's that's true. (laughs) Well, I did mint on Monday. That's funny. I'm glad I'm I'm not that guy anymore. See, a lot to be uh, grateful for. I'm glad I'm not that guy that was like single smoking hookah still. Like, nah, man. We had a lot of, yeah. lot, of still fun, time. lot of fun in Club Deco and Listen, Edward, I, I love, you, I love, I love you and sitting together, man. But if you think for one second that I'm not already playing in the pool party in my head, 
Oh, I can see it now. I don't know if I can have one while I'm saying. Oh no, you don't have to have one. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not even talking. I know the where date. you live. I know everything. Swimming Nick. lessons are back yeah. on. Oh Jesus Christ, we're in the backyard, fellas. Come on now, it's a fucking vibe. It's Joe's upstairs vibe. crying, but it's okay. Yeah, Joe nah, gonna refresh his Instagram. That'd be the vibe the at the pool party. Yo, bitches be wanting to come cry with me. <laughs> Yo, take any, girl, oh, any girl that want to cry at the pool oh, party, you are more than glad to that take sympathy her. Sympathy bag. Let's oh come my. to my room to talk. Oh God, no. Yeah, that's why I got to shake this off. Get my want, sympathy bag. Yeah, I don't want to talk at a pool party. No way. Hey, listen, don't get, don't take this the wrong way because fucking that Orlando show, whatever show that was, I went on stage trying to fucking interact with the audience, and in the shade room, posted some shit saying I was subbing sin and all types of shit. Listen, we do a podcast, so I have to come on here so you guys can laugh at my pain. But other than that. I don't take this as a laughing matter at all, so it's important for me to say that. Now, Tesla. <laughs> are, are you are you gonna cop? Uh, Tesla? Yeah. Nope. You could sleep, drink your coffee, smoke cigarettes, and can you drink drive. and drive in a Tesla since you're not driving? I would hope so. Mo, you were saying they have an app. Yeah, it's it's like uh, the 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 thing was saying is Uber will be obsolete. That's what the, the title of the video is. If you can drink and drive in a Tesla, I'm getting a Tesla. Wait, so why would they be obsolete? Um, well, Elon Musk put out a whole presentation on it. Trying to find <laughs> Elon it. Musk be home just creating shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just be home coming up with shit. Let's put Yo, tunnels underneath yeah. LA. Yeah, yeah. He, he invented a reasonably priced flamethrower that you could cop for like two fifty. That's true. <laughs> That's a sick motherfucker right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, especially when you get into why? <laughs> why? Why do I need the flamethrower? There's nothing to why, get into. Why is Elon it affordable? Musk. Like, why do I have minimum wage and can cop a flamethrower? <laughs> Elon Musk is gonna kill you niggas with these autonomous Teslas that he's talking about. Well, I don't like this. Didn't dude. somebody already die in, a, in, a, in one of these autonomous driving Teslas? They've killed like seven yeah. families. Yeah. Yeah. And my shit is, and these people that have the app and whosever car it is are going to jail. And how the fuck I'm going to jail when I have an alibi that I wasn't there? Mm. And my car just happened to kill you. Like, I'm at the crib. It's on your app. Oh, uh, wait. Time out. Uh, let's get back to this. Speaking of alibis, because I just remembered. Uh, Remy says that she has footage of her being at home at the time of this attack. Mm. I See? believe it. Queen. I told you. I totally believe that. Told you guys my sis would never. She would Come never. On. More, more will be revealed. Wait for the details. Remy's chilling, man. Uh, now, back to the Tesla that's killing everybody. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go to jail for my car. Can you drink and drive in the Tesla? I, th- I think I think you can. <laughs> I'm still stuck right there. <laughs> can you drink and drive? Only yeah. if you sit in the you're back not seat. You're not driving. No, yeah. you're just in the in the. You're a passenger. So if you're in the back seat, you're straight. Yeah, you gotta be in the back seat. Your Tesla pull over. <laughs> I, I, you know, I still am not clear on the Tesla information because we've been joking. <laughs> um, hold on. What are they doing and when? The Tesla cars, Uber. you could drive the shit from an app. You could chill at the crib and do all your errands from your car. And someone will come out and be like, yo, you want your groceries? Here you go. And the car will drive off, hit a few families, and then head back to your crib. Yo, are humans now, are we just this lazy now as a it's people, a little, honestly? It's a little sickening. <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yes, that's not scary that's to y'all? Yeah, Like scary. where this is going? Yeah. I, I relate all of this back to artificial intelligence, but whatever. It, it is nothing. artificial intelligence. I'm never that with the, that's exactly what it is. I'm never with the getting in the car and there's no driver and it's auto, like a robot or... No. No, I'm not with that. I'm sorry. I'm scared with when I know the driver. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now there's no one there. But you, the funny shit about it, though, you know, but their argument will be, well, you don't even know the driver that's driving. Like, how yeah, much but, faith are you putting into somebody that just pulls up and he just because you ordered a car in the app and he's just driving you around? You don't know this dude at all. You don't know his history. You don't know if he has a dead body in the trunk. You don't know anything about this dude. And we've well, seen instances where Uber drivers drive. have killed people, kidnapped yep. them. and So it's like uh, you really don't know the person that you're getting in the car with. They be creeps, boy. I feel bad for women that drive in Ubers. Yeah, but a yeah, lot, most too. of society has now become reliant upon strangers. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the scary part about it. Like yeah, we, we, we rely so much on complete strangers. In 2019. Would Rory be allowed to come to my pool party? Like, because I'm single, so would Sam let him come to that? No, we're going to do it when she's in uh, Guyana. Oh, no, that, Sam would let him come, no. Because I have to imagine she would think it's a different pool party. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This yeah, but be, Rory's real, so. This would be a totally different vibe. Rory will be there. Yeah, this will be a totally different vibe. This will be clothing <laughs> optional after midnight. Uh, yeah, 
you know, that type of thing. Uh, what else do we have to get into so we can stop talking about pool parties before I'm all make it so I never see my child again? <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that, man. Don't put, do that, on, don't put that on me. What do you mean? You're not in control. <laughs> don't put that on me. This will, this will be replayed <laughs> in yeah, the court system. Gonna, yeah, come on, man. I'm Chill talking out. about... Is that a, pool, is that a fit just, environment for Lex? I'm just using the, I'm just using the house on a night. certain day for the pool. That's I it. Got it. Okay, uh, thank uh, you. Understood. Uh, well, I feel like I've been, I've been lacking as our as our Sway Lee relationship senior correspondent. Uh, so you are just, the senior correspondent. You're yes. the only correspondent. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the no, world. No, if I'm the senior one, wouldn't, in the world. wouldn't there be a junior? The no, world. There's no, yeah. junior, there's no, no one junior no. corresponding on None this topic. None of us care about what Sway Lee is doing until you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> well, And I appreciate Rory for that. Yeah, true. I don't be knowing what these little fuckity fuckities is doing. Well, as I, I previously reported, they, they did have a, another messy breakup. Phones were thrown. What's the guy trying to make me keyed. cry in the podcast? Why? Oh, yeah. your news is like breakup news, nigga. Well, no. Talk about something happy. No, no, no. I, I'm happy to, to inform the world. They are back together. Uh, oh, there's they hope. They are smiling. There's hope for you, Joe. They posted a picture with like a real cute caption, like just two kids from the country. Mm. Well, there's the answer, the answer that you've been asking all podcasts. Mm-hmm. What is love? What is love? Sway Lee is love. Hey. <laughs> Sway Lee. <laughs> He's not hurt anymore. Well, I'm happy for him. Yeah, man. Yeah, congrats, guys. I'm, I'm sure... Uh, we knew you could do it. I'm sure I'll still have a job this year. Mm. I don't think this is, is the end. end. I don't think this is the end. No, this but. isn't the end. They're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Things will keep... They will keep swaying. This relationship will keep swaying. I can promise you that. Have we heard from Slim Jimmy at all? Oh, uh, we don't know what Slim Jimmy. We don't have a Slim Jimmy correspondent <laughs> on hand. He but. doesn't have a breakup and make up yeah. every other day. So yeah. Uh well, you'd imagine they would make some summer records, no? Who? They're good for it. Ray Shrem would yeah. make great summer records. Uh, listen, and there's an alleged I'm, Drake I'm and Sway Lee record coming. Oh, Sway Lee's gonna have. I'm a trying song. not to right. sound. I'm trying not to uh, repeat myself, <laughs> but it's a lot of people. I feel like trying to sneak music out in the summertime. I heard, <laughs> I heard French got one. I'm sure. Not going to say so what the features might are. Be on it. Wait, slow down, Rory's <laughs> understating that one. I oh, was, he knows I, what the features I, I was, are. Uh, I'm was, not going to say the features. No. <laughs> but, but I, from what I heard. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Let me, I got you, Rory's. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 It's an interesting combo that, that sounds like they may have. Madonna and Sway Lee. Something like that. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> a, a candidate for for summer summer record of the year. J Lo and I get Nas. those texts a lot too because people feel like this podcast is influential, so they think I'm like a tastemaker. So they'll well, te- no, they'll people, text me with, "Hey, new heat." People, <laughs> people will text me things that I think are just for them and I to know, and then they'll text me after they listen to the podcast and get mad at me for not breaking it <laughs> on the podcast. Like I had all that six nine information earlier, and I was like, "Wait, do I?" You you work for like the state. I was protecting you. <laughs> Why did you want me to break that? Yeah, you did have that for a little while. Long time. Oh well. Um. What were we, I thought I wanted to say something about whatever you were talking about. What were we talking about before? Sway Lee, uh, summer French. records, race oh, no, French. It. Yeah, French. Come on, back back to this French record. Come on, break some news. God damn it! I'm but, not gonna say the features. Don't man. say the features, but tell us. Come on, give me your thoughts. Do you think that this uh, French record will be the one? Do you think it will be the record of the summer? Do you think it has? Did a, you hear uh, it? I did not. No, hear I didn't it. hear oh, okay. it. And that's my problem with these fucking. I'm uh, not getting hype off a of record just by seeing who's on it. No well, I'm, I'm not getting hype off a of text. Don't text my phone and tell me how dope the record is. Yeah, I'm not doing. I want to hear the record. I don't know more. I'm, I'm with you, 99 percent of the I've time seen, of that. But when I was told the features on this record, it yeah. seems. But when I saw the feature, with my life hasn't been the same ever since I saw the feature with Lil Wayne and Jay Z, and then I heard Hello Brooklyn. Oh, I thought I was about to say I like Mr. Carter. <laughs> yeah, word. I heard Hello, Hello Brooklyn was trash, but I heard Hello Brooklyn and I was like, "Who's well, got Billy Ray Cyrus?" And um, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have Billy Ray Cyrus. Hello, on Hello Brooklyn was trash. I it hate was. that record. I hate it. And I was kind of like, hey, maybe in like seven years I'll like it. Nah. That's another good list that Didn't we like should it. come up with. Let's write that down for later. Uh, when two artists that we love just make whack shit together. Yeah. It happens. Sometimes a lot. Everybody was quiet about that fucking, uh, not that this is a great example, but that Kendrick and M fe- feature, whatever record that the was. was the Grease soundtrack? Yeah. yeah. It was. I'm sorry, it was on the Grease soundtrack? It sounds soundtrack? like it. 
or something oh. like that. <laughs> I was like, wait, Happy they re- days, they Grace, Grace, one of them shits. <laughs> yeah. That sample that, was That was our, slapping. hey, Kendrick, we fuck with you, so we're just going to keep quiet on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's save that. Write that down, save well. Uh, what else is there? What else is there that's going on that we need to discuss? Oh, time to piss off the thronies, huh? Savon and Parks are back. <laughs> Come on, Savon. <laughs> Put a little thronies review. <laughs> Cherish it. We only got two more of these left. I can't believe you yeah. watch it, though, man. Well, because I go to sleep now earlier in this, 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 all the crying. this dark time. Just yeah. trying to sleep the heartbreak away. Yeah. Ba- basically. Time. I can't wait until this shit is over so I can go to bed. I did. Oh, no. Crying. Crying is tiring. Let's get back to the <laughs> How much crying is enough, though? Like, when is enough enough? 12 hours. Okay. Uh, when you start <laughs> when you start running out of tears, you just kind of have that hyperventilating noise. <laughs> like, that's when you've Wait, you've you niggas cry like that? No, Ma. We're doing a podcast oh. and trying to make people laugh. Okay. <laughs> Joe's like, I cry like that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just running around the house fucking crying because it's quiet. (laughs) You know, the the bows turned all the the, way up? The the normal construct of my day is totally thrown (laughs) off. All I can hear is my thoughts. (laughs) It's it's a mess in there. Yeah. I'm dying to move someone in. (laughs) That's funny. All right. Time for your favorite segment of the podcast. The one we get flamed for. Although... The people are changing their tune now. No, they're not. The they, people are coming around. They're not coming around. <laughs> they're coming around. They, they hate you review. That's they fine. hate Savon's review. They want y'all to never they speak on Game of Thrones much. again. They, they don't know how you guys are thronies. Y'all are mad misinformed. No. But that's what this podcast <laughs> are, is about. We are not mad misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, at this point, I just keep it going because the thronies hate it. Uh, but no, I did want to see. The, I did want to see this episode. I told Parks when we was on tour. I was excited about seeing it. Yeah, he told me not to get too excited because this would be like a dialogue story. I thought it was going to be politicky, and it did kind of start off that way. Yeah, the first half was pretty uh, character driven. Yeah, politics. Yeah, went back to the politics. Yeah. Um, you may not see. Well, you didn't see any fight in this one. You shouldn't expect any fighting. The the episode that you and Maul hopped on, like that was the big battle. There'll probably be one more if that. Oh, so I'm cool then. But it's, it's the politics at <laughs> this point. You know what I'm saying? Fucking... But for the people who's invested, like this is what brought the show. This is what made the show what it was. It wasn't the fighting. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If I would say that. Part. Now they're starting to bank on the the fight and the action. Yeah, a lot yeah. more, which was kind of part of my criticism before. But but it was a big episode, like. It, it it changed the temperature of the show, this episode. Yeah, a lot of people uh, well, as it should when there's only two more left. Yeah. Okay. A lot sure. of a lot of a lot happened as far as characters kind of switching their stances or making their stances a little more clear. Sansa clearly is pushing for some shit. Mm-hmm. Uh Daenerys they're trying to make into the Mad King part two. Yeah. Uh and that's the big thing. For people who don't watch, like you see Daenerys, the girl with the dragon, mm. um, her father was known as the Mad King. He went crazy, and he killed him. So now we're seeing her become that um, each episode this season, which yeah. is pretty big. Yeah. Can I just okay. say I don't care about none of this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Maul is looking at me like, nigga, get the fuck back in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't care about anything Maul never this nigga is like that. So. I don't Maul, care what no, they've all But, but why about. I thought this was important is because I, this, this weekend, for the first time, I saw a lot of Thrones fans with complaints. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They had like, a Starbucks so, cup so in the scene. Those, what, what? They had a Starbucks cup in the fucking episode. I yeah. saw that. No, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it was right there on the table. Was it labeled Starbucks? Uh, you, you, yes. could, you could tell, yes. but you couldn't tell. Yeah. It was obviously it was obviously a Starbucks yeah. cup. Then, no, I don't believe that. It no, wasn't a Medieval happened. Times cup. No, it was not. It was, was a paper. This, coffee it was a cup. brand new Starbucks paper cup with the warmer holder thing. Yeah. Yeah. Was this like when they were drinking Ciroc in the TLC movie? Yeah. Well, it was worse. <laughs> it was way worse. <laughs> but that made sense to me, uh, because I was like, yeah, if you going to fight some dragon niggas, you yeah, need, you need some pick coffee. Me up. <laughs> yeah, Johnson, That's yeah. like, somebody need little, really dropped the ball. You need a little yeah. five-hour energy drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just they fight. apparently have edited the, the the footage to now not show that. Yeah. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so, the, so well, then, so then I'm so. to believe that maybe it wasn't on purpose then. But damn, talk about product placement. That shit might have been on purpose, bro. That was a thousand percent purpose. 
No. Somebody somebody was on set drinking and they started y'all, filming and forgot to move that cup. Last season, y'all are bugging. They can't put I don't, in talk, there. That's a microphone, Rory. <laughs> y'all are bugging. That was 100% in there. It's the last season. It's fucking HBO, so you can't do commercials and, and make your own shit. they know it goes viral. They know for a fact they put that shit in there purposely. And they knew it would go viral. I don't think so. What I'm at, all right, that's not what I'm Game saying. Game of Thrones maybe, don't need to do maybe, shit like Yeah, that. I agree with Maul. But <laughs> I don't know. Them episodes are expensive, bro. <laughs> do you think that they charge Starbucks for that? Hell yeah. Yes, I think that was a deal or a plan. to put in. That got was it, a whole it. plan, yes. I agree. I agree, actually. Yeah. Yo, one day, I I'll agree I if, if I'll agree if Starbucks turns around and now has a Game of Thrones cup. They what did They did have a Game of Thrones. Uh, oh, no, that was uh, Shake Shack. Someone had a Game of Damn, Thrones man, uh, such shake. a great talk to be had here about advertising that we can't have right now. What you mean? I can't tell you. Oh. But <laughs> right, right here in this conversation about whether we think that this was a plant product placement, uh, Starbucks paying Game of Thrones, or just the intention between whoever. There's a great conversation about ads, new age ads, and how certain companies are targeting certain markets now that they're realizing that some of the, their old ideologies are just old and washed. Mm. So you kind of, some of the older people in charge kind of have to get with some new age ideas even if it's against their better judgment. So I'm, that's why I'm saying I'm not against Rory. With I could totally see this being the case with Starbucks paying to put it in there or it's, Game of Thrones taking it in the last season. Maybe they wouldn't have done it last season, but in the last season, six episodes, quick money grab. Like yeah. I said, I could see that if now Starbucks turns around and has some Game of Thrones They've merch. They've had issues like this in the past, though. Well, you'll see like Yeah, there's a like a truck. truck in, yeah. yeah, you'll see a white truck in the background. They just like somebody was on set with it. A character was holding a cup in his hand one time, like just a regular cup. Yeah, it cuts so it happens. Yeah. Like, this is a thing. Yeah. It's not always yeah, it's a, a human, brand. human error. Yeah, yeah, it's not always a brand involved. This one, you could just tell that like it was a Starbucks cup. But like the truck in the background, you couldn't tell if it was a Chevy or a Ford. Like it yeah. happens. Now I'll tell you this much though: if if uh, if um, Jamie kills Daenerys, and it's like mm. if that's the plot, I'm gonna be super well, mad. You had a great theory on the road. All right, yeah. y'all not about to throwing me out here. Right, let's, let's get go. a wrap up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, it's that's the. Thing. I think it's two Sansa, episodes I, left. I think Sansa right. will be the 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 one on the throne, or they're gonna end up doing it where Jamie kills Daenerys and Cersei ends up winning. And it's a bad ending. Those those, those are the two endings uh, that I see happening. One of the two. I think Whether they want to make it happier or not happy. Well, that's the question that I had for just throne fans. What's up? Do you think after the last episode you'll be pleased or dissatisfied? Um, I think a lot of people are going to be dissatisfied. It depends yeah, who that's... you're a fan of. It, def- it depends where you roll. No one's a Cersei the, the, fan. What are you talking about? I'm talking about just a fan of the show. You're a fan of the show. But you support people in the show. That's what I'm saying. But the, se- the show is over. Mm-hmm. This is the last episode of it. eight seasons. Mm-hmm. At the at the uh, at the end of it, yeah. how will you feel? Not talking about, hey, I'm a fan yeah, of this person. Yeah, they died, so I'm sad. Just no, as sure. a as a whole. Do you think people will be pleased? No, people are already starting to have displeasure in this last season. Yeah. Carrying over from the last season before that. For sure. And it goes back to the writing thing. To me, I enjoy it because I've zo- like I, the writing's been bad to me for a while now, so like I'm just enjoying it as an action fucking movie with dragons mm-hmm. essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. and like yeah. cool man. <laughs> they gonna shoot parks. If they are, whatever, man. <laughs> These are the statements Yo, that get you. Parks. It's whatever, man. Because he'd be so confused on Twitter. Hey, stop attacking me for just saying my opinion. No, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> it's whatever, man. You gotta oh. just enjoy it at some point. And, and, Come and, on, no smoke. Say Come face. Face. I'm good. <laughs> you nah, pussy. I, I understand. I understand. But people's killing me for my opinion, though. Right. I'm fucking with Cersei, so I'm. I'm, I'm here yeah, it's it. whatever. I, I will say this before you wrap up. Uh, I've been wrapping up here. No, before you wrap it up, it's been a lot of theories about um, Arya killing people with brown eyes, blue eyes, and green eyes. Yeah. Uh, Cersei has the what green eyes. eyes. Left? <laughs> that's all of them. Cersei Hazel. has green eyes, and so does Daenerys. So right. that's just one of my theories. Me and Parks was kicking theories in the green room. So yeah. that was it. This is what you niggas be. That's what we yeah. do. I told you they're going to bring them catapults back. No, you did. Yeah. Absolutely. You called it. Yeah. Teslas. <laughs> they're out there. Thank you, to Killing Family. Yes. Our they're driving themselves now. <laughs> thank, yeah. thank you to the chief correspondent on Game of Thrones. Thank you to our fucking chief geekazoid. Yeah. <laughs> I think chief I've, geek reporter over there. I think I've there. covered the Sway Lee relationships <laughs> way better. Uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones. You see these guys trying to get a little throny bag? Well, Cersei is. I got. I got to go back. I got to start from season one. Man. I got. I yeah. believe I will though, because I like. I like. Uh, oh, you are I not like watching Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 
hundred and fifty hours. Lord of the Rings is great. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and binge watch them all. I ain't got nothing else to do now. That's yeah. true. Uh, you ain't got, yeah, it's not like you got a relationship or anything. <laughs> I'm here for you, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just binge watch, man. Binge watch through the heartache. There you go. Let's see if you can binge watch through that child support. <laughs> <laughs> Always one guy to take it too far. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. Oh, hope Netflix has some great shows coming. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. What else you guys got? Hope they're gearing up for the summer. <laughs> Ready for that red table series? <laughs> No, you gonna be on the red table <laughs> I need to be on the fucking red table Joe can't wait to be on the red Fuck, table Fuck I was sleeping in the crib earlier and Getting my depressed heartbroken sleeping And the fucking phone rung and woke me up And I looked thinking it's important It's fucking Dr. Jen I'm like ah! Ah! Everybody Jen. knows Everybody knows <laughs> Dr. Jen <laughs> Dr. Jen gonna call your phone she gonna, she gonna, we can I like it. Dr. Jen Dr. Jen's great Yeah this nice, is not what nice, you said. Nice woman. And she'll get to the truth. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll get to the root of things. Great Start friend. making you feel like it was your fault. That's what therapists do. Uh, did we cover anything? Uh, did we cover everything? I, mean, I think you uh, owe no, me an apology. We didn't cover anything. Oh, yeah. You owe Parks an apology. You do owe me an apology. I, I'm not the only one, though. I do, too. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, there I, we I go. was wrong, Parks. Parks, man. man. Sorry, Parksy. Sorry, man. You know what I mean? Parks, I didn't want to come in here and have to apologize to Parks. Yeah. But watching that game, watching that game last night, Greek freak looked like Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Dunking all over dunking. the Celtics. Yeah. Was, they looked From helpless. The foul line in game. Yeah, he was flexing his muscles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they have, he's they tapping have, his they, teammates. They have no answers. No, they don't have any answers. I'm telling you the uh, the uh, Kawhi Greek freak matchup is the finals that we deserve. Eastern Conference, yes. Yeah. Listen, check this okay. out. Kawhi is a man. Exactly. Kawhi, yeah, yeah. Kawhi is a man. That, that's I've, a matchup. I've been right about that. That's told, a matchup. I told people. Kawhi is a man. I might have been wrong with this Kyrie thing with the whole best player with a jump shot Still thing. one of the Knicks. I was going to say, I'm really happy that the Celtics are losing. Yeah, I don't know that. that and that I want to clear me out of that. I don't know that I've ever said I want Kyrie and Kevin Durant on the Knicks. What? <laughs> Yo, rewind the tape. Well, well, you should. You definitely said that. I don't know if I said it. You did. I'm and sure you have. You? I, I thought no. Has. I thought I always said it depends on one of the best on point the, guards in the game. One of the best. Oh, no, players no, in the game. no. Oh yeah, that's and, not. And that's Jimmy how I Butler I and Zion Williams. I've always only said I want to see the draft pick because the draft pick is going to tell me what I want to do. Now, if they get the one and they get Zion, then I would like to see Zion, KD, and Kyrie. But you know how I feel about that John Morant kid. So, if they get that kid. And let's say KD and Kyrie decide to do some other shit. I'm not. I'm not against holding the cap money, and just being suck again next year. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of the Knicks fans. The Knicks don't keep enough pieces together to for that to be realistic. I think if the Knicks are gonna go, they're gonna. They have. To, it has to be one year where they're going. They're not. They're not. The Knicks are not great in holding pieces Never. until the next two years. Like they're not. They're not good at doing that. The at Knicks. All. The Knicks that we are accustomed to. Yeah, I think that's gonna always be the Knicks. But uh. As long as they have that owner in place, I don't think players really want to play for. No, team. I think they letting Scott Perry and uh, Scott Perry and Fisdale and them actually do what they got to do this time. But we're not talking about the Knicks. Knicks ain't in the playoffs. It's fuck the Knicks. <laughs> yeah, Greek no, freak. but people are saying that Kyrie looks like he's uh, he's done. He's packed it up. He's Man, packed I don't know up. what game they, those, those commentators was watching talking about. Oh, do you think it's Kyrie's last game in Boston? Fam, this nigga's throwing up all the wildest, most awkward layups in the world. <laughs> yeah, he's. I think he's done. I think. I think he was wilding out mentally there. Mentally, he's checked out. Then he got yeah. them in the post game, dissed his teammates some more. Yeah. I want to shoot forty times. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. He, he said, hey, I, don't, "I don't care if I'm off. The more I shoot, better position for them to be in." I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> fuck it, nigga. You better than me, so I can't question it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, he's packed up though. He's done, and I'm 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 hearing more and more that him and KD to Brooklyn is a real thing. I keep hearing it. Well, we'll know the Rock offices, and we'll know if if the if the Nets don't extend D'Angelo Russell by July first, we'll definitely know. Like, okay, they don't plan on keeping D'Angelo Russell. That would be that would be crazy. Yeah, that would be a mistake. Not is it a mistake if you have Kyrie coming? Yeah. Okay. I think they're willing to gamble on that. I think they need. I'm a, sure they are too. They need a bigger superstar. They need people to fill the seats. They need. Uh, but they're building a good team over there right now. Finally, after a decade of seats, you can't go. It's with not even that it's a good team. The they just they have a lot last of last in attendance. 
Huh? <laughs> you can't go with trying to fill the seats when you're last in attendance. That's when you're supposed Even to try that, to fill the seats. I know. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I know. And Kyrie and Kevin Durant will fill those seats. You you'll won't be, be able to get a Brooklyn Nets ticket. You'll be at the Barclays. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See Katie and Kyrie together? Yeah. I was, I, I, I'd pay for that. I'm not even so mad that the Greek freak was getting off because he's supposed to get off. Eric Bledsoe getting off, <laughs> blocking shots, standing over people like he's somebody. He's somebody. It's but that's, he ain't been somebody. But for see, a that's long time. that's the effect of having a, such a great player like Giannis yeah. is that other players on your team now start playing harder, more emotional. They're more locked into the game because they feel like I have to meet. I have to match what you're doing. Fam, yeah. I'm not never letting Eric Bledsoe step over me and stare down at me while I'm laying on the ground sweating. Why? Because I'm not doing it. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Jason Tatum kind of pushed him a little bit. That was a soft push. Yeah, but it was, it was a <laughs> it push. It needed to be an aggressive, an aggressive yeah, it was push. A push. Uh, Eric Bledsoe is strong. I don't know if Jason Tatum want to just get into a physical <laughs> altercation with Eric Bledsoe. He's a little pit bull. Yeah, he's a little pit bull. Eric Bledsoe is what, 5'10"? I don't care what he is. He built like a fire hydrant. Smack the shit out of that fire hydrant. <laughs> try, you try to hit that nigga if you want. <laughs> right, on your, right on your neck. <laughs> right up on side your neck. He stood over Jason Tatum, and Jason Tatum just looked up like he was perturbed. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, he looked up and saw them shoulders and those delts. He was like, listen, man. <laughs> those delts. Yeah, I don't even know what a delt is. He's like, listen, man, you know oh, what? A, uh, you got that one. Oh, that's the opposing gang to Rory's people. No, it's not an opposing gang. <laughs> Del- deltas are women. The oh. opposing gang. <laughs> <laughs> deltas. They're not deltas. They don't they're, dance. They're deltas. The deltas are your the sisters. Deltas is what you right? don't have because you have your whole rotator cuff <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> the deltas are your sisters? No. Is that how it goes? Uh, they're not. They're, 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 they're sisters gang to the Qs. No, they're not our gang oh, sisters. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, who, so who's your gang sisters? We don't have any. <laughs> Why would you so join that gang? you don't have any gang? sisters? Well, no. I'm never I'm getting going to the What the fuck I look like? party with Why would you want to be attached to one orc when you could have all of them? Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, see, I don't know about that culture. Yeah, too much. I was about to say, Rory pulled it, went in his college slang bag. Now, <laughs> yeah. and now we lost. Yeah, I don't know about that culture too much. <laughs> he said dot org. I ain't know what was going on. <laughs> dot org. <laughs> what you said? Why would you have one or- organization? Oh, low, yeah. He said org. Yeah. yeah. Org. Dot Jesus. org. Yeah. Org. Yeah. The organizations. That's what that means. Organizations. Is there any more news? <laughs> I'm ready no. to go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to say Vaughn sleep over? No. <laughs> Look up shit for you. Going home so you can cry. Yeah, funny, man, man. I'm going to sleep. Why, man? Why are you crying, Sorry, bro? Sorry, man. That's how I feel you know, inside. Life, life is just no, so funny, it's man. Not. Like, no, life is funny. You know why. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get away from Vaughn. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing. But why I ain't going to talk about it. But why are you laughing? But it, I'm going to start texting you randomly but, throughout the week. Like, all, yo, you good? But this is why I don't and then once you say I'm all right, then I'm going but in. But there are stages to a breakup, yeah, ball. man. But it's just and this like, is the stage I'm in. Yeah, Kurt, there's, but there's hurt. You there's know why anger, I'm laughing, man? Because detachment. There's yeah, but it's just like where healing. Was, there's but the energy was just so different. Like you know, a couple weeks ago, it was a lot of pizzazz coming off your shoulders. Mm. Like oh, now more fam, check this out. After this month, watch you back. Watch my piz- right. pizzazzy shoulders. I'm going to give you three more weeks to cry, man. <laughs> After this, man, I am. I'm going to go to therapy for the rotator cuff Y'all and have a lot of pizzazz in the shoulders. going to some pizzazzy shoulders. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, I'm going to just target like the 50-year-olds. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got you a trick for you. <laughs> 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 you can't target no... I'm going to target yes, the 50-year-olds. Yes, I can. No, you cannot, Not working man. out with the young ones? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't target the 50-year-olds. Got a trick for y'all. That's nasty. No, you can't do that. You say that, but it's some beautiful 47 oh, year old. Oh, yes, absolutely. 48 year old. No, 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 no. I'm with you. I'm with you. Don't get it fucked up. I'm not far from that. Like, I, I, you're far from Didn't want to be the one to say nah, it. Nah, I'm in that <laughs> dating pool. Didn't want to take that I can date joke. a 46 year old. Of course you can. You That's can date. That's my point. But I'm just saying, you're far from 50. You're 12 years from 50. Joe needs the red table. 12 man. years is a long That's time. That's what I think it needs. Huh? He needs the red table. No, <laughs> that's definitely the wrong place for him to go to at this moment. <laughs> the Pickett Smith. There's no get Joe moment. Straight. <laughs> it's a moment at this moment. Yeah, it's not a, a moment. It's a moment. Man, play, play is a, a moment. sleeper, man. Everything is a moment. Man. <laughs> Enough of this. Enough. <laughs> Too much focus on me. Yeah, uh, let's play a sleeper. Do we men- mention anything? We forget anything? What's Jordan Woods doing? What's <laughs> just Jesse Smollett? Come on, give me something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Smollett. Uh, is there anything coming up this weekend that I need to know about? Anything coming up next week? Anything we need to be? 
No, we're uh, we're not on the road. Word. <laughs> Thank God. I'm we looking have, forward uh, to that part. We have oh. Boston, D.C., and Philly coming up next. Philly being Roots Picnic. Chicago. No. Yeah, Chicago, oh, Chicago, Detroit. Yeah, next. Jesus I don't know Christ. what we're talking about. Yeah, skipping, <laughs> skipping a couple weeks. We're in Detroit and Chicago next, mm-hmm. followed by Boston, D.C., and there Philly for the Roots Picnic. Yeah. Uh, look forward to seeing everyone there. Um, yeah. And that should be fun. Uh, enjoying. I'm enjoying us being home this week. Yeah. Nice little 10 days at home is going to be good. Hell yeah. Although I think I'm going to go, no. To L.A.? I think, I think, no, I have to go away this week. No. Yeah. Not to L.A., though. No. Well, all right, where? <laughs> I got to want to tell us? Or, or, Master class, Mississippi. No, no, I got to no, go no, away no. this weekend, but not L.A., no, I was, though. I was thinking about just being Somewhere home none sleeping, of you know. But I can't, I can't stay home to sleep this weekend. Although Somewhere I'm, there's no mosquitoes? No. See, you was laughing at me for trying to stay home and sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to know. I got, I got it in the last two days, though. I'll tell you that. Oh no, me too. <laughs> yeah, I got my sleep. <laughs> nah, yeah, I was getting busy. Guess what's happening tonight? More sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> more sleep. And tomorrow. Yeah. You know, Drake said more life. More sleep. More, more sleep. sleep. <laughs> A lot more sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm not depressed when I'm sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Uh, All right, so I think we covered everything. Again, forgive me for my raspy, sick voice. It's been a long two weeks, a rough two weeks. My ears are clogged from the plane still from five days ago. Don't worry about me. (laughs) Uh, But I think we covered everything. Until next time, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Wait, I forgot my little corny ending that the fans fucking hate. Uh, What's my ending? Ah, got it. God damn it. If he can't rap, (laughs) he's going to do this. Doesn't it rhyme? It does rhyme a little bit. Life is a series of moments and oh moments pass. God. I just said that everything's a moment. Pa- you told th- me it was This wasn't. moment's <laughs> not passing yet. <laughs> this moment is still right there. Yeah. Fucking Brooklyn all sad in the house. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. I bid you adieu. Farewell. Peace. Arrivederci. Sayonara. Adios. Deuces. Peace. Farewell. To say. <laughs> don't you y'all think we got to start charging Rory just every time he say do say? <laughs> no, honestly, y'all don't think so? At least a little five. It's been five years. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? We're just going to let him say do say every episode? <laughs> <laughs> Forget your shit off. All right, till next time. Peace. <laughs>